Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? How you doing? Got to get my camera set right. And then mute this other tab. <laughs> you get a little extra hey, hey. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm right here, guys. We're, we're running a few minutes late. And I, and I hear the, I heard the, I heard everybody reaching out to me. Where you been, Gorilla? What's up? Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I will just tell you the truth. The end of it was the end of the school year, and man, it it, it it hit me. It was a lot to a lot of stuff to get done, a lot of work, but I got it all done. Got my first week of camp in the books. Got a got a whole week off next week. I'm so I'm so ready to get to work in my comic on my comic room and my comics and whatnot and get stuff packed and shipped. I have a ton of stuff ready to go. Um, you know, it was nothing more than, um, man, where am I on some trouble? Nothing more than really the school, the school year ending, being super busy and getting everything in order that I had to get in order. Um, I'm sorry. I've been, I've been so, uh, infrequent on YouTube lately. Uh, I've missed a lot of shows. Just, just, didn't have the energy, and the last thing I want to do is give you people, give everybody a uh, a low energy gorilla. Because, come on, you you deserve more than that. Um, so, with that said, we got some good stuff lined up. We got some kitty cats. We got some fresh baked cookies. Uh, maybe we got some crazy beads for 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 French Quarter. You know, throw him the 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 beads. That's the best I could come up with. I don't know. <laughs> in, in, in the momentary uh, moment. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, it's it's so it's going to go down tonight. I got I went hunting today, picked up almost uh, this shy of a whole long box of books that really I'll start at a buck a piece. So there's going to be some potentially good deals, some decent books. I try to grab the best of what I saw. Um not always the necessarily the like I'm not necessarily trying to find every a key book for you know for next to nothing uh, or less than a buck but good books that I think people will enjoy um so that's that let's see let me let me bring in the panel just so everybody can say hello I'm gonna bring everybody in so we got Shelby right next to me we got French quarter comics below me and diagonally across we got Sands group What's up, everybody? What up, Todd? Gorilla, good to What's see up, you, my Shelby? brother. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Sans? Good to see you. Good to see you guys. What's up, French Quarter? Always good to see you, my friend. Thank yeah, you, buddy. Good to be back with you. And uh, yeah, thanks for the great idea, actually. I should include Mardi Gras beads with every order I ship out. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's you know, unique to your shrimp mm -hmm. bow boy in with every comic order. And somehow, no, 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 tell me what, cut the king cake, right? And whoever. At the end, wins the baby gets the grand prize, right? Yeah, whoever gets the piece with the baby in it, they actually have to buy the next king cake. Is how it works. For <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. I'd have to thank my fourth grade teacher, Mrs. Tidings. She taught. She had a. She had, I think, a daughter or a son that lived in New Orleans when I was in fourth grade, and she used to bring the beads back after mm. they go. She go visit wow. tell us about them. Those fourth grade yeah. teachers, they know how to earn those beads. <laughs> You know, you know. Yeah, hopefully, she didn't come back. Like, hey, you got to work for these. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she was awesome. She was awesome. Um, but uh, yep, uh, we're gonna. I'll go ahead, guys. I'll go over the rules, right? And then I'll do. I'll see what's up in the chat. But I'm gonna go over the rules. I'll go big for that, so you guys can do whatever your last preparations are. And give you a moment for before the storm. Calm before the storm. So rules. Everybody's favorite part. First rule is always you must be 18 years old of age or older to buy ow, to buy or bid on any item on the auction. Remember, that means if you are not 18 years of age, you shouldn't be trying to buy or bid on any item on this auction. You have to be 18 years of age or older, okay? Um, other than that, we're going to have basically... Hey, Nut Punch Comics, what's up, my old my old student, my Padawan? You've re returned. Um, sorry, I got distracted. So anyway, uh, 
18 years age of age, 18 years old of age or older to bid or buy. Um, we're gonna run a two and a half minute timer for the for the auction. So we'll start that basically. Uh, sellers are gonna gonna show what's up, unruly. Good to see you in the chat, my friend. Uh, basically, uh, you know, bidders will sellers will show maybe a couple buy it nows, whatever they whatever books they might have. Um, and then they will go into their auction item and, you know, they'll take a, you know, a minute or so to describe their auction, um, you know, or so it's not, it's not an exact science. It's depends on the item. A single book just takes, you know, only so long. Some books need no introduction and some need a lot of explaining, but anyway, um, we'll do the introduction and then, and then, Basically, either the bidding is going to start the timer or when they're done explaining the book, the timer will start. It's going to run for two and a half minutes. The timer is a guideline. If there's a single bidder, once that two and a half minute timer goes, then we're going to declare the auction over because there's a single bidder and they're going to win it for the value of their bid. Um, if we have multiple bidders, again, like I said, the timer is a, a guideline. We're going to keep uh, we're going to keep the. Um, bidding going because it basically nobody can snipe in the auction because you always have a chance to to uh rebid now sometimes people will wait till the last minute to place a bid which forces somebody who thought they were going to win an auction into a position where they have to bid a higher amount you know sorry i can't make it perfect for everybody but at least we don't have to worry about sniping in the sense of Somebody's going to get a bid right before the timer, and then you don't have a chance to, to, to bid another dollar or what have you to get, to win the item. Um, I want to make it as fair as possible. Um, so that's how we'll handle multiple bidders. Every auction will have a start line and an end line. So for bids to count, they have to happen. After the end, the start line and before the end line. Sometimes, sometimes we will end a you know the two and a half minute timer will go. We'll have a single bidder. I'll drop an end line, but and I go by the the, the streamyard chat that I can see because that that's how we do it. We do get um, bids from both Facebook occasionally and YouTube, mostly just YouTube, but we they'll be highlighted on the screen under the word high bid right here. If I put a, a chat up, you see it populates right there. Tim Singh stuff is dropping some cookies for Sam's. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And, uh, you know, that's so make sure you're watching the screen. That's especially important if you're if you're in a couple of different auctions. Make sure you know what's going on if you're bidding. Um, you know, other than that, start line, end line, please, your bids, just type them as a whole number in the chat. It gets awfully confusing and hard to follow if you put a number and a message in the same line. Okay, it's just it's just awfully confusing, and your bid might get missed. And honestly, if there's if there's words and letters, it's easy it's easy to miss, and it might you know it might cause a, a disruption. And we don't nobody wants a disruption in the flow of the auction. Um, if you're in an auction and you decide it just gone for more than you're willing to spend. Just type fold, F-O-L-D, um, in the chat, and we'll know you're out. Because and underbids don't do a thing. I, I don't I don't give underbids any, because that just get that just I, I don't think it makes sense to me. So that's that. Um, otherwise, just please, please, please keep it cordial in the chat. Let's everybody you know respect everybody and be cool. And we'll have a good time, and we'll enjoy ourselves, and we'll see some cool books. And, you know, if you want to grab some book, buy some books, hey, you have an opportunity. And, uh, you know, that, that's pretty much it. Now, let's see what's happening. Thank you definitely to the 39 people we have watching. Please, Gorilla, smash that thumbs up. Let us know you love us. Um, we got Love Body Bags in first saying hi. We got Card Shop Reality. An old customer of Shelby's saying, great to be here. Thumbs up number two. Awesome. Team's, Tim Singh stuff is in. We got Dude Jer J Junior Ryan. What's happening? 
I'm right here with you guys. Good to be back. I mean, I didn't really go anywhere. I just wasn't as as often. It wasn't on as often as I had been. So we got Lisa Noble, a member of the channel, dropping the Gorilla Todd logo. Awesome. Thank you so much, Lisa. We very much appreciate you, Lisa, as both the person you are and also a member of the channel. Shelby saying welcome to everyone. We got Custodian Ken hanging out. <laughs> Drinking a little Irish whiskey, bagging and bagging comics. That's a good. That's a good setup, man. Ken says he gorilla smash. That's often awesome. We got Edwin Aguilar in the chat saying, "What is up?" You know it. Gorilla Todd's comic bonanza is up. We got Nut Punch. Thank you, Nut Punch. That's a great compliment. You're one of the best students I ever worked with. So, the feeling is mutual. Unruly Simeon, what is up? How you doing, my 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 Simeon brother? <laughs> You're funny, dude. Junior Ryan, rule number one: no one talks about Gorilla Club. Yep, yep. Get that hot milk ready for the cookies. French Quarter saying, "What's up to everyone?" Yes, we're definitely gonna have a fun night. Definitely let us know what you're looking for if you want, and we'll try to accommodate. What's up, CLG? Good to see you, my old friend. And we got Pete. What's up, Pete? Hey, Pete. And I think we're ready to start the auction. So. Let's see. Got a fun little lot here. I don't think it's complete, or is it? Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it's missing nine. Well, I got Adventures in the DC Universe. What's up? What's up, Amber? How you doing, Creamer and Cash Collectibles? Good to see you. Um, got a little Adventures in the DC Universe. I have one through nine and issue ten. So, whatever reason, eight wasn't in there, but we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine books. A classic animated Bruce Tim style JLA. So, we got one. Number two, an awesome flash cover. Three, Wonder Woman fighting Cheetah with a little Batman and Poise the Ivy. I guess on a leaf. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and we got a little Green Lantern, Kyle Rayner. Martian Manhunter. And a super secret surprise. Alien, somebody with a mohawk. Aquaman, back when he had his, they have him with his hook. Pretty cool. I actually like that Aquaman. <laughs> awesome. The Marvel family. What a cool cover that is. Iconic looking. We got a little blue and gold. Beetle and Booster Gold with the question. Hanging out in the smoke and some femme fatale. I'm not sure who that is. Hmm. We don't have eight. We don't have nine, but here's ten with the Legion of the Superheroes. So let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine books. I'll start it at nine bucks. A buck a book plus shipping. Let me grab my starting line and we will get this roller coaster rolling. Here we go. Starting line, nine dollars. There you guys go. Thank you to the thirty-five people watching. Let's have a good night. Got a timer going.
That was me. Sorry, yeah. the cat on the keyboard. No worries. We got a bid from Teresa Newell. How are you doing for $9? It's a nice bunch of books. I love these animated books. They're all in really nice shape. They're just in bags, but I'll make sure they're in bags and boards before I ship. It may not be perfect, but I think I, I get every bag, book in a bag and board before I ship it. How are we doing on time here? We got about 30 seconds left on the clock. It looks like Teresa's going to walk away with these adventures of the DC universe. Nice lot of books. Nine books, nine bucks. So this will be for nine bucks shipping. So nine books I could possibly fit. One or two more books in, maybe three, depending on the size of the book. Some are thicker. Some good DC here, ladies and gents. There is the timer, so we're going to drop an end line. And unless somebody by chance beats that end line, this auction will be... Give it a second for the lag. Yep, I think Teresa Newell was walking away with this for nine bucks. That's what I see. Great pickup, Teresa. Great pickup. They just need one issue to have one through ten. So that's going to be, let's see, Teresa Newell, $9 for the books plus nine ships, so 18 total. You can hit me. I, I take any. Oh, thank you for the super chat, Teresa Newell. You know we'll be having a super chat giveaway. I'll show the books for that next round. But you'll, you're five bucks. Thank you for the five dollar super chat, Teresa. You will get entered every dollar gets you an entry into the super chat book giveaway. So you'll definitely get entered into that. And then you know how I do. If uh, you don't win that, I always do a consolation spin for some gorilla bucks. Still have a couple of folks with with outstanding with with have gorilla bucks. So cool, cool, cool. Um, so thank you very much, Teresa. Thank you to everybody else. And we will move over to Shelby. All right. All right. All right. Man, feels like I hadn't done an auction in like two weeks, which it has been. So, um, we're going to start off a little slow, just like, uh, usual for the first couple rounds. So these are some eighties goodness, uh, starting off with. Uh, all of them are, of course, in really great shape. Um, you know, nice books to keep around. You know, these uh, just like stuff from the Bronze Age, fucking freaking going crazy. Them 80s books is what's next. So you might want to start filling in them boxes. <clears throat> but I'm going to start this off at a dollar each. Three books. I got Iron Man Annual number 13. Again, very beautiful copy. Hard to find these in great shape because of the uh, square spine. Hey, Joffrey. Um, I see a lot of new people in the chat. So, please, I'm trying to get myself to 250 subs on YouTube. Please sub me up. My link should be below in the description. Um, if not, I will drop it and sub everybody on the panel. They do a really great job. Come and, and bring you some entertainment. Hey, Papa Willie. 
It's not, but I will get it in the uh, I'll get it in the description. Okay. Uh, so Iron Man Annual number thirteen, New Warriors. Man, this gained a little bit of steam, right? Got this uh, little homage cover to a John Byrne cover from Fantastic Four. Um, no, from X Men. I apologize. Uh, from X Men with like uh, the Phoenix is holding up. Anyway, but um, New Warriors Annual number two. And then New Warriors Annual number three that's still in the poly bag with the trading card and stuff. So, yeah. I always, like that cover. I always liked how they did the, like, white lines on the black. Yeah. Yeah, I agree different. with you. Um, What's up, Monster Warrior? What's up, Mad Spidey? Hey, Papa Wheelie. Hey, yeah, Josh. I don't know who the artist is, but, you know, definitely I like the... Thank you, Lisa Noble. Yeah, I'm so close to 150, so please sub me up. We'll do our uh, best to get you there, my friend. We'll do yeah. our best. And like I said, sub up everybody on the panel. They all do some great content on YouTube and such. But um, yeah, three books, three dollars. Uh, really great condition uh, annuals. And if we get up to... What I got? What I got? Just had them sitting right here. Oh, my God. Oh my God, Todd! How can stuff just disappear? How the cat can did it. Disappear? It's the cat. It's the cats. You know, I'll do this. How about this? You get up to five dollars. I'll throw in this Captain Marvel, Braver and Mightier number one uh, variant cover. Very cool book. This is the variant cover. Um, get up to fifteen. We'll throw in a Maestro number one variant. So we got a couple things that can bring you in, sweeten the pot. But right now, three dollars. It's all this takes. Three dollars. Let me get your start line. Oh shit! No, you have a start I'm line. Sorry. I wonder no one's bidding. They're yeah. all waiting for that, Todd. They are. I'm trying to get your names. Your names in. Oh okay. You yeah, know. we're all a little rusty, huh, buddy? Yeah, three dollars starting line coming in hot. There yeah. you go. But now, they got, now they got a real solid idea what the books are. There you go. Yeah, we're What's all over geeks. Good to see you, nerds being geeks. Hey, Sean St. Yeah, Derek Robertson. I think he did a lot of the. He did. He drew some some new art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a. Uh, it's DWR. So Derek Robinson. Yeah, I couldn't. I didn't recognize the initials, but you're completely right, Derek Robinson. Yep. Thank you. Love the chat. But Iron Man Annual number 13, uh, New Warriors Annual number two, New Warriors Annual number three. Um, never know what's going to pop up as a spec. And then, like I said, get to just, just $5. Just $5, I'll throw this in. Captain Marvel, Braver, Mightier, number one variant, only $5. You get that book put in. And then if you want to go to 15, get a little wacky. I'll throw in this Maestro number one variant. So, yeah. So right now we got that. Like I said, just five dollars. That'll come in. Okay. Nice new Warriors book. I always I like the new Warriors. I read that from issue one on when I was a kid. I always kind of had a weird. I won't say rotating, but you know. It was it was pretty consistent at the beginning, the first probably twenty or so, twenty five issues. Like I remember that dude Rage was one of the. It was Rage, like uh, Vas Antrovic, the I forget his name, the guy from New, for, who was also in Guardians. It was like the future version of him and Firestar. They became Avengers during the Burt Busiak, uh, George Perez run, and uh, who else was in there? Speedball. Yeah. Mm. I don't think I've read one of those books in 12 or 20 years. What happened? We froze Shelby. Hey, everybody. It looks like Shelby might have had a little technical difficulties. Perhaps the cat. Uh, 
pulled out his his internet wire. Let's give him a half a second. Maybe he's going to come back. Let's see. Did we get any bids on that? That was the timer. Oh, here he is. Let me bring him back. Oh, cat ran across the keyboard and put me in airplane mode. Bring HGM. What's up, HGM Law? How you doing, Law Man? Hey, hey, how you guys doing? We're all doing well. I figured Shelby's had a little technical glitch, so I bring you in. Thanks so much. No problem. We're going to go back to Shelby. All right, thanks. All right, I see you, Elvis. Uh, Elvis is in for three, three so the timer did... The timer did expire, but since we had the technical get difficulties, let me just do a 30 second. Yeah, that sounds fair. Uh, um, so, Elvis, if you want uh, to go $5, I'll throw in this cool Captain Marvel Braver and Mightier number one variant. Um, I don't see this cover too often. It's kind of cartoony looking, but <laughs> um, I really like it. It's a Ron Lim cover, so. Yeah, hey, Lord Dickman, I see you in the chat, man. I, I owe you a response on Instagram. I think I flaked, or not that I forgot, but obviously it's been a minute, so no, I didn't forget. All right, Elvis, we'll add that to your box, my sir. Um, let me know if you wanted to upgrade over on uh, Inline. Uh, geez. Uh, Tim Singh stuff. I hope you got your box this week because I had the label printed out. And looks I, like Elvis wants to jump to five. Okay, cool. Captain Marvel. Um, yeah, Tim, I hope you got your stuff this week, buddy. Uh, I had the label printed out, and it'd been raining its ass off, and so it was a couple of days me getting to the post office. So, but um, I hope you got everything, my good sir. Awesome. All right, thank you, Todd. I appreciate yeah. it, and we'll see if we can keep the cats under control a little bit. Awesome. We got Probably a couple not. of super chats. I want to definitely acknowledge. If I may impose on you for a moment, Shelby, we got a super chat from Papa Wheelie. Thank you so much, Papa Wheelie. Five dollars. That's going to get you a five dot five entries on the on the wheel, and I'll show the books next round. And we got Tim Singh stuff. Thank you so much. You guys no, super chatting before I even show the books. It 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 makes me so appreciative because it tells me you're supporting the channel. That, that's my five mm -hmm. dollars. Is that super chat for the cats? Yeah, for the cats, you're not the cats. You're Shelby. You don't get to speak for all the the whole species of felines. Come on now. I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, sure night, night thrasher. Night Let's thrasher. Get my cat. Who was Rage? Was Rage the enemy? The bad guy? I can't remember. I'm gonna have to go back and look at New Warriors books now. I think I have one through ten in my storage unit. Uh. Oh man, yeah, that's some '80s goodness, man. That just you know. I know Mark Bagley drew it early on, but yeah, yeah. Okay. And, that's, and this actually looked like Mark Bagley art till I was looking at the. Uh, um, hey, we got a request. Initials. Shelby, look next week. Shelby shows up in a cat outfit, but don't make it creepy like that cats movie trailer that came out. That was all creepy looking. Oh, that's very creepy. Be a cute cat. Yeah, no one needs to see Rebel Wilson in a cat outfit. So or let, let, let's or Andrus Elba. Let's move over to Sands. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, sorry, love, sorry, sorry for moving on one such an awkward note. <laughs> the love a cat outfit. Come on, come on. You gotta love it. What's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Saturday evening, night to you, wherever you are across the globe. Welcome to Gorilla Tides comic book auction please smash that like button we love you we appreciate it sub up your panel members let's do this ladies and gents um tonight i have a poll box i have ten dollar polls my ten dollar polls are pretty crispy but not only that if we sell out on the ten dollar polls which i have about 15 on everybody who buys is going to get on the wheel to win a batman uh 14 uh cgc 9.6 white pages signed by greg caputo so that is in the ten dollar polls and there are some nice little hits in there including um some of the Electra assassin number one homages and some other x-men awesome books um Besides that, I have the $5 polls. The $5 polls, there's an indie lot in there. 
there is a um, Funko lot in there. So we have a lot of goodies in the $5 polls. On the polls, you can get, uh, for the $10 polls, you can get six for 50 or um, 12 for 100. In the um, $5 polls, you can get six for 25 or 12 for 50. So thank you very much. Let me show a couple buy it nows real quick. Um, I have, I have a Jenica lot here. Um, this is a Turtles um, Jenica uh, virgin cover, three three cover set. I'll do this for 50 shipped, 50 shipped, and I'll show that in more detail. We have uh, your Women of Power, um, number one, Women of Marvel, number one. This is the virgin. Do that for $30 shipped. We have the Ryan Brown exclusive Wolverine um, Virgin cover. We'll do that for thirty dollars shipped. And a lot of people have been looking for Nottingham number one. This is an exclusive from Black Cape Comics. It comes with the uh, excuse me, not Black Cape Line Breakers comic book surplus. It comes with an exclusive coin. This I will do for eighty five shipped. All right, ladies and gents, we're going to start off with some indies. I have one, two, three, four books. We're going to five books. We're going to start this off at $15, $15, and we will build from there. So we have Department of Truth number nine. This is the C cover. We have Ha Ha number five. We have Basilisk number one. This is <clears throat> this is already gone to a second printing. Nice book here. And we have something that's killing the children. Number sixteen, the cover A. Lastly, we have Bitterroot number thirteen. Fifteen dollars starting bid, and we can build from there, ladies and gents. <laughs> Thank you, Marco. I appreciate it. Matt Spidey for dropping those cookies. Good to see everybody. Lord of Brooklyn. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Card Shop Reality. <laughs> he said Shelby will show up in the cat outfit. A prediction. I love it. I love it. So $15 starting bed. Five, five books. And we can add to it. Teresa's in at 15. Good to see you, Teresa. Way to go. Southern Comic Geek Strong with the cookies. I love it. I love it. Let me show you a couple books that can come in next. So if we got it to um, $40, the next two books would come in. That is Out of Body number one. That is the one in 10. Out of body number one, and then also Carmen number three, and that's the ratio. I believe it's the one in 25, one in 25. Those two can come in if we got it to $40, ladies and gents, $40. Hope everyone is having an awesome Saturday night with the fam or hanging out, whatever you're doing. We appreciate you. So those books will come in at 40. Okay, so Teresa wants 12 for 50, 12 pulls for 50, I guess $5 pulls, yeah. I gotcha. All right, the next book that would come in, this would be Basilisk, the one in 25. That would come in if we got it to 65, 65. So the next three books. All right, Teresa, got one, two, let me put that down. Three, four, five. I do have some nice house on the lake. Mark six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, Teresa, I will show you your 12 in one second. Remember, guys, um, we have about 20 polls on the $10, excuse me, 15 polls on the $10. And there is a slab in there. 
So, um, okay, we got about 50 seconds left on the timer. So it looks like Teresa's still a high bid of 15. Nice house on the lake. These could also come in. So that's the cover B and the one and 25 are available. So tell you what, if we got it to one, uh, 110, those would come in. 110, those would come in. Let me show you what we got, Teresa. All right, Teresa, you got a Marvel's 1000. You got an Ant number one. Infinity Wars Prime number one. Secrets of Sinister House number one. Spawn 301. Variant Spawn 301. Turtles number 99. You got a Champions number one. Nice one. Okay, that's a duplicate. Let me grab you another one. You got a Detective Batman Detective Comics number three. Ah, nice spawn version cover. You got another duplicate. Let me grab you another one as well. And this will be your final one. All right, you got a bird of prey. Number one, thank you, Teresa. All right, so that sounds like it was the timer. Yep, there's the end line. All right, Teresa, you have the ability to upgrade again. Three books come in at 65. The next two would come in at 115, 115. Cool, so. Lisa, if you're interested, let them know. But you got the, the, the initial lot for 15. Nice pickup, and you got your pulls. Good, nice books there. We're going to move over to French Quarter Comics for his turn. But if anybody's interested in those pulls, let Sam's know. Just put it in the chat, and we'll get you your pulls. Absolutely. Thank you, as always, everyone. Thanks, Sam's. Hello, everyone. Ken from French Quarter Comics in New Orleans, Louisiana. Nice to be with you tonight. Hope you're going to have a great time with us. Um, we're going to start out with a little bit of fire right off the bat. I want to put up one of the most famous comic book covers ever. The Alex Ross, Batman, Harley Quinn, Joker, and Harley. This is a CGC 9.6. Beautiful, beautiful cover. Even in the all black, very tough to get a 9.8. This one is... I honestly don't know why it didn't. It's gorgeous front and back. I will do 290 shift on that. 290 shift. And that book is so beautiful. And and the homage, I love the homage too, but the original is just, oh my gosh, French. Uh, as a smaller buy it now, the Punisher number one from 2016. This is the Scotty Young variant. This one can be yours for $40 shift. Another great, fun cover. Scotty Young, $40 ship. And for the auction this round, starting at $15, one five. I've got a little three book lot of Black Widow that we'll start off with. Uh, this is Mark's, Mark Wade, Chris Samney run. It is going to include Black Widow number one, Black Widow number two, and Black Widow number one, the Stephanie Hahn Sprite Pie variant. Which is probably the best looking cover of the three. As you know, we're about to see the Black Widow movie drop in about what, two weeks, three weeks, something like that, I think. It's so, definitely uh, coming. It will be here sooner than later. So you got a $15 starting ram. Let's get your timer going. Got the timer going. Nice Black Widow books. The movie feel like feels like that movie's been coming out forever. It has been <laughs> over a year. We've been in like this time burp. I think. Uh, well, I was gonna say June ninth, but that's that's Loki. That's next Wednesday. I think it's July ninth that this one comes out. But Loki will be on Wednesday night next week. 
Nice little black widow lot to start things off gently. $15 starting bid. Again, I will show the buy it nows as well. Scott Young variant for Punisher number one, 2016. That's $40 shipped. This is also a definite 9 8 candidate despite the black cover. Absolutely gorgeous. And maybe for this friend, Batman Harley Quinn, famous, famous Alex Ross cover from 1999. You've seen this on posters, t shirts, toys, homage covers, of course. One of the greatest covers ever, ever really painted. This is that one. CBC 9.6, so look, 296. One of those books that didn't know you needed to install the day of That's a beautiful Ox Ross cover for your buy it now, one of your buy it nows. You got, your, got those nice black widows available. Those are your auction items. Baki4441 is asking what print the Batman Harley Quinn. Timer. Should say it right on the label. Yeah. You know, if it doesn't say anything, it's a first, I'm pretty sure. Okay, and if nobody's in the Black Widows, I'm going to drop it on mine. But you can definitely hit French Quarter up. Looks like, looks like we got Papa Wheelie. It, it's, the option is the Black Widow books. Monster Warrior, Papa Wheelie's in for 15 on those. Sorry to confuse you, Monster. The other two were buy it now. The Punisher is a buy it now for 40. The only thing is a buy it now for 296. If you want, Becky's saying, yeah, you can tell what printing it is from the UPC code. What's the last number? Yeah, it's a first print. It would say on the label if it was a second or a third. First print on the on the Harley Quinn Batman. Buy it now. So we got Papa William for fifteen on the Black Widow books. Um, yeah, the sound your sound cut out a little bit, Ken. I don't know what that's. I oh. noticed that too. Um, I was told that earlier today in my other auction too. I'm not sure what's going on. Try and figure it out here between the. Okay, so I'm going to give about a, I'll give you about 20 seconds if anybody wants to bid, but otherwise I'm going to drop an end line. Uh, and Papa Wheelie is going to walk away with these books for 15 bucks and it'll be a nice pickup. It's a fried pie exclusive, I think. Correct. Stephanie Hans. Okay, so here's the end line. Papa Wheelie's gonna grab that for lot for fifteen. Nice pickup. Uh, my uh, payment information I think will be up here in a second. It's uh, there. It is Cash App is preferred. Dollar sign French Quarter Comics. Uh, if you need to pay another way, just hit me up on IG at FQ Comics, and we'll sort you out. Thanks a lot, Papa, and we'll see you all next round. Okay, and let's move over to the Lawman. What's up, HGM Law, making his return. Hey, hey. Comic Bonanza. Welcome back, my friend. Thank you very much. Good to be back. Good to be on. Grill Todd. Good to talk to the panel, the people in the chat. 
Um, a seldom occurrence. Thank you for having me on on a Saturday night. Really appreciate it. So um, I'm sure they say so. If there's anything in particular you're looking for, let us know. Uh, I think just to start things off, I'm a, I saw this and uh, I, I, I immediately thought of Shelby. Not to pick on Shelby, just in the same, just one of those slots. I said, hey, you know, uh, we're going to start this off at five bucks, a little independent lot. Okay. Image lot. It's your starting line. So we have Lady Pendragon, issue number two from Image. Lady Pendragon, issue number four from Image. And Invincible one, but not the true number one. You may want to hold the books a little bit more to your right because they're kind of on the edge of the screen. Yep, there you go. All right, so no, I'm just trying to help. You know, yeah, that's it. I don't want. I, I don't know what my TV reflecting in. So this invincible one. I'm not sure which one this is. I didn't have a chance to look it up, but this is available. Uh, and again, Lady Pendragon, two and four. Um, just a good start around since we got it all in really good shape. Um, but I think the invincible one's going to be the, 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 the cream of this one. And like I said, starting bid five bucks. There you just go. You got a five dollar starting line, nine dollar shipping, and um, we got quite, quite, quite a lot, quite a lot of stuff available for you. I see Mr. Papa Wheel is in for five. All right, well, you know, good to see, good to see. Got some, good to see. We got some new friends showing up. We got some old friends showing up. Yeah, so we're going we're gonna to put in some, I, went, I found a new LCS today. That's a little honey hole. So depending on how if people want some good good fire books, we got some fire books. If people want to stay light, let's stay light. We got some light stuff as well. So, got quite a bit of stuff to go through the evening. Hopefully, we have some stuff people will enjoy and get. I, I'm, I'm, you know, taking it easy on a Saturday night, enjoying, uh, enjoying the evening. So as of now, like I said, we still have Papa Lou at five dollars, nine dollars shipping. As as yep. everyone usually does, or most people usually do. Yeah, it's pretty much the standard. Yeah, all that stuff. How, how, how are things in Vegas? Girl? Things are good, man. I went to the Golden Knights game last night. That was a heck of a game. Yeah, they, 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 I, I, you know, for, for, for as hot a place as it is, Vegas loves their hockey. Yeah, it's well, it's you know, it's their, it's their, it's their own team. It's it was you know, it, it was born here, so it started here. I don't know, so yeah. it's just it's just a homegrown, it's a hometown favorite. Um, I'm say it's four, four years because I, I was out in Vegas when they on the inaugural season. I was there, and uh, you know, great, great fan support. Um, cause that's I think that's that's the year they played the Caps in the finals. Hey, T Pain. All right, so timing. Ti Let's see. We got 29 seconds left. Uh, looks like Papa Wheelie may walk away with this for five bucks. All right, Papa. Nobody else jumps in. And this this Lady Pendragon Invincible lot. Got three cool books. All from Image. Hey, T Pain, I might be coming back to uh, your area at the end of the summer for like a week. I'd love to hook up again and hang out. All righty. Okay, so that was the timer. Let me drop an end line. Papa Willie's going to grab those for five bucks. All right, so uh, um, probably, uh, my PayPal is down there. Right there. Um, the what I'll do is I'll put my, I'll put my I I'll put my IG in the chat. It's a, it is, I can get it in the description if anybody um, okay. who's been here since the beginning might have to refresh, but it's in the description. Okay. Yeah, I definitely will, T Pain. You know, I'll let you know. So you got All that right. pump of wheelie for five? 
Yes, indeed. Thank uh, you very much. You're welcome, Lawman. And we'll come back to, leave it's back to me. Hey, everybody. Okay, so let's see. I got this. Or I'll buy it now for Legends of the Dark Knight. This is the uh, Derek Chu. Man, that bag is all wrinkled. Derek Chu, uh, Harley Quinn. I love this one because it's got a pin. She's playing a pinball machine. So that's the full trade one. I have that one available for 30 And then I have the minimal trade kind of detail for 50 if somebody wants both, I'll do the pair for 75 So I think that's a little bit better than they're available on eBay for. Plus, you got to pay tax and shipping there. You only have to pay shipping here. And if you get a bunch of books, it works out a little bit better for you. And you know I pack it right. So I got those available. What's up, Elvis? No sound? You got no sound for me? Guys, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, can anybody who's not on the panel hear me? Let me know in the chat. Yeah, I checked it out on um, on YouTube. You're good there, too, at least. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay, so... Okay, so people you seem to hear me. I don't know, Elvis. It might be on your end. But, uh... I got the two uh, Legends of the Dark Knight covers. The uh, minimal is 50. The trade dress is 30. If you want them both, I'll do them for 75. Not much of a discount, but it's five bucks. Covers a portion of your shipping, at least. What's up, Asmus? Hey, man, I emailed you. Um, just check your email, man. I'm, you know, I'm sorry. We had the little mix up, but I'm gonna, I'll make right by you. You know that, my friend. Um, you know it. So I got those available. Oh, got them over here too. Try to keep them in one place. Um, this is a cheaper buy now. I got this Vengeance of Vampirilla number seven, Perillo. I got four copies of this. I'll do for three dollars each. That's a dollar undercover. So somebody wants to has a box and wants to. Cool Perillo cover. I got four of them. No point in. <laughs> Three bucks each if anybody wants that, needs that Perillo Vampirella cover. Got that. I got to find something, some good stuff for the, for the super chat book. So I haven't, I don't have anything yet. Yeah, Baki, I understand DC, but that that Warren Lolo uh, cover is just so fire, my brother. The pinball it just looks so amazing. Todd, Teresa would like one of the vampy books that you just showed. Teresa, you want a vampy? She wants to go into Papa, though. <laughs> okay, I think Papa Willie has books with me. I can I can work with that. I can work with that. And T Pain is also claiming a Vampirella. Okay, so let me write that down. We got T Pain. We got Teresa. You know what? Set one. Set the third one aside for me. I'll take one too. You want one, Ken? Yes, sir. Sure. Okay, Teresa. I'm pretty sure he does. I'm pretty sure I owe Papa Wheelie some books. Okay, so I have one more of those Vampirella, Vendors of Vampirella 7 Perillo covers left. If anybody wants that last one, it's available. Okay. To go 
Oh, I just had it. Dang it. I got something cool. Here's a four book. 12, 29. I think these, I think these books are kind of popular because of the covers. Custodian Ken is claiming the last Vampirella. Custodian Ken, you want that last Vampirella? Okay, let me write that down. Custodian Ken, three bucks. Yeah, when I find books like that that I can hook you guys up with, I jump on them um, for auction. And uh, I'm going to start this at four bucks. And I think these are worth, well, I don't, whatever. I got some, some awesome uh, Greg Horn covers from Miss Marvel. So we got number 12. I guess that we're going to start this at four bucks. Let me get the starting line in. There we go. Number 12. Gorgeous Greg Horn art. Number 13. Olden Iron Man's helmet. You got 26. This is a secret invasion. The in I don't know. Some other some words in the words. I can't read it. And then this is the this is the one that I think is pretty awesome. It's Miss Marvel 29. Wow, I have not seen that one before. That's yeah, a pretty awesome cover. Like really? I said, I don't always go for, you know, you can't always find keys, but you can, if you, if you try to find some cool books, you got a good eye, you can find some cool books. So we got some. For Greg Horn, Captain Marvel starting at four bucks. Yeah, that cleavage helped a little four. bit, didn't it, Todd? What's that? That cleavage helped a little bit on that book, didn't it? Uh, <laughs> it doesn't hurt. I mean, you know, if that's what you're into, but. You well, know. there is cleavage. I hadn't noticed. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking at the gun. I just saw the helmet. So we got custodian Kenan for four bucks. We got about two minutes left on the timer. I was looking at the color of her eyes, you guys. Absolutely. We got Teresa in for six. Studying Ken, I don't get out much. <laughs> yeah, I, I was trying to read the buttons, you know, and then I just got distracted. So, you know. Yeah, I'll give you the nice slow. Uh, this dice go scroll. home. Go home. Only what? good scroll is a dead Dark, scroll. Dark 2008, and I'm with Marvel <laughs> Boy. I see those loud and clear. They're very anti scroll. I don't know if they're going that anti-scroll in the movie. I think they're going to have good scrolls and bad scrolls. You know what I'm saying? Good scrolls and bad scrolls. So we saw everything that we liked on that cover, but go back to that one. Look at the... Give us a close-up of the hand holding the gun. The hand. Yeah, there you go. A little closer. She's got the wrinkly hand of like a 90-year-old woman there. What's up with that? <laughs> War does things to you. <laughs> so we got Custodian Kennan for $10. We got about 20 yeah. seconds left. Teresa Holmes. Greg, Greg Horn got his grandmother to be the hand model for him. <laughs> mm. Wow. That's pretty harsh. <laughs> hey, you know. Oh, yeah, I, think you know, I, got, I got something with Modoc. I think I got something with Modoc in the box. You are watching that cartoon? I, I watched episode one. Yeah. 
I've gotten through number eight. I gotta jump on it because it looks funny as I don't know what. Yeah, Elvis, I've got a very special Modoc. Yeah, that was a timer. We're gonna drop an end line. I don't like that. It's no, it's his voice kind of irritates me sometimes. Yeah, so it looks I, like I, I, Custodian I, I, Ken is going to take this down for ten. Thank you so much, Custodian Ken. And then we go over to Shelby. Uh, if you needed to rearrange since I dropped out and back in so you can keep up with it, I'm fine with that, Todd. Yeah, that would make life a little easier. Yeah, I'm fine with that, man. Are you yeah. ready, Sands? I certainly am. Okay, then we'll go to Sands. Yeah. Thanks, guys. No problem. No problem. You got it, Ken. You got a box started. We're like a well-oiled <laughs> machine. Let me show a couple by it now. This one I have uh, Batman 609, first appearance of Hush. That is uh, 65 shipped. 65 shipped. Batman 609, beautiful cover. Yeah, you don't see that in pop up every now and then. No, you don't. Uh, I also have a third print on, excuse me, a num Nottingham number three. Uh, this is uh, 25 ship, 25 ship. Or you can combine it with the Nottingham number one, and it'll be 100 ship. All right, ladies and gents, we got the pull box. You can get on the $5 or the $10. The $10 got some fire in there. Let me pull one, show you guys. Some Silver Surf and Black number three is in there. Some other goodies is in there. Uh, the $10 polls are available. We got the $5 polls. Again, if the $10 polls sell out, we will have um, a raffle for the Batman number 14 signed by Greg Capullo, CGC 9.6, ladies and gents. Now, we got the $5 polls. Five dollars a book. You can get six for twenty-five or twelve fifty. There's a Funko lot and an indie lot in there, ladies and gents. So help yourselves to that. If we sell out on that as well tonight, we will have um, a uh, a slab raffle at the end as well. And that one we have about uh, enough for about twenty pulls at five at a. Uh, Five dollars, not twenty polls. Twenty-five, twenty polls at uh, the twenty-five dollar range. All right, this round, let's do some amazing Spider-Man. One, two, three, four, five, and then we can add to that. I'm gonna start the bidding off at forty bucks. Forty bucks, ladies and gents. Okay, forty dollars starting line coming in. So we have your amazing Spider-Man two fifty newsstand hobgoblin cover. You all know the hobgoblin is coming, ladies and gents. We have amazing Spider-Man number fifteen newsstand, the king size annual. We have amazing Spider-Man number one. This is the one in fifty. The Jerome Opera cover. We have a variant of the Amazing Spider-Man Annual Number One. This is like the uh, video game cover. And then we got the Wizard Ace Edition Amazing Spider-Man Number One Fourteen. Excuse me, Number Fourteen uh, cover. So forty dollars starting bid, ladies and gents. Teresa wants six of your ten dollar pulls, so fifty fifty dollars for six. Is that the that is correct? That is correct. I'll grab those for you and pop. Yes, if we sell out on the ten dollar pulls, um, I will be uh, raffling the Batman slab. All right, Teresa. In the chat, I don't know if everybody noticed. Steve Rice is asking if anyone has an ASM two nineteen. That's that Porter Parker criminal cover. Five, six. All right. We got a $40 starting bid. 
I don't have a 219. If any of the other panel members have one, do let our good friend know. And Teresa, let me show you your books. All right. You got an incredible Hulk Wolverine. Uh, this is the Marvel 25th anniversary newsstand. You got a number one giant size X-Men, Jean Grey, Emma Frost. You got an X-Men number one. This is the variant edition. Awesome cover. Something is killing the children, number 12. And then you have a, this is a uh, variant pack. This is always an X. Um, you get one, two, three, four, five books in that lot right there. And lastly, you got a Silver Surfer Black number three. Thank you so much, Teresa, for the six $10 points. All right, ladies and gents, there is still an indie, um, there's still a, uh, it's a hit in the, I got to check and see what the hit was in the um, $10 polls. And uh, once we sell out, the Batman will be up for raffle. All Okay, that was a timer. Okay. Looks like we got no hits on the Spidey. Excellent, excellent. No worries. Um, next round, we'll come back with some indie, or we may have some bigger books if you guys are looking for it. Uh, but look forward to jumping into it. Again, we have an, uh, an indie lot that you can win in there. We have a Funko lot that you can win in there, slabs. So continue to get your polls, and I will talk to you guys in a few. All right, Elvis, I'll talk to you in a minute, my friend. Sounds good. We will move over to French Quarter Comics. All right. Uh, so Elvis, I'll just tell you, uh, the biggest MODOK book possible will be coming up next round for me, so stay tuned for that if you're interested in MODOK. Uh, right now, this buy it right now round, I've got X-Factor number nine. This is the brand new David Nakayama virgin variant of Dazzler. A beautiful all white cover, 9-8 condition, untouched, unopened, ready to slab. Buy it now, $50 shipped. 50 shipped on that. I've only got a couple left. They have been going fast every auction I've been putting them up. So there is the Dazzler X Factor number nine. For the auction this round, uh, I'm going to start this at $50, $5.0. Uh, it is a one, two, three, four, five, six book lot. It is the entire Midnight Suns run. This has gotten very, very hot lately, as some of you know. Ghost Rider number 28 right here is going for about 35, about 30, 35 on its own. You also get Spirits of Vengeance number one. This is part two. You get Morbius number one, part three. You get Dark Hold number one, and we know the Dark Hold is going to be playing a very big role in the MCU going forward, starting with the Doctor Strange movie and what we saw at the end of WandaVision. You get Night Stalkers number one, the fifth part of this series. And you get the other book that's been going for 30 to 35 just by itself, Ghost Rider 31. These are all still in the poly bag, as you see. Uh, they are boarded, but uh, some people like to have the poly bags still surrounding the book. Other people realize the poly bags do damage to your book. So uh, if you do buy this lot, I'm happy to take them out of the poly bags and ship uh, without. So it you know, just reduces the chances of poly bag damage scratching the covers of your books. And since these are very prominently black cover books, uh, the fewer scratches you get, the better. Uh, but they are poly bags because they each have a poster included with the book. So 
All six books of the series, all six posters. They can be shipped to you as is in the poly bag, or I can remove them carefully and ship them in regular bags and boards without the poly bag with the poster still in your bag and board. So, the Midnight Sun's complete run, all six issues, starting at $50. Alright, so Really hot lately those midnight sun are amazingly hot my friend every every uh channel has them in the top 10 right now it is going crazy absolutely there, it uh heard leaked out that there was a midnight sun's movie in development uh it's early development but apparently they are working on a script they're working on producers they're working on putting the film together uh no idea exactly when that's going to come out but we know Morbius is coming in his own movie. Uh, I'm sure Marvel's going to have to negotiate with Sony a little bit more to get him. They are going to do the whole midnight fun. Everyone else, especially the Dark Old, uh, Marvel property right now. They've tried 28 and 31 are part of this lot. These are two books that have just been on fire lately. So look them up real quick if you need to do your research. This is a bargain price for what he's going for right now. Uh, so it looks like Tim is asking anybody who's got Spider Man 2099 number one. I know I've sold that book, I don't know how many times, but I don't think I have one available. I don't think I have one right now. <laughs> I have one, but it's a it's a it's a CGC nine eight though. Mm -hmm. so, he, he, he may be interested. Well, once again, here's the Dazzler X Factor number nine, the David Nakayama Virgin variant. There's been a rumor that Taylor Swift has had her people talk to Marvel to express her interest in maybe joining the MCU playing Dazzler. And if that no? happen, good lord. That might be pretty good. Can Taylor Swift act? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I don't know. Nobody knew from the Lady Gaga did, could, though, and uh, look what she's done. So. Yeah. Won a Golden Globe. I think more than anything, she would bring in a whole fan base. Absolutely. Sell, sell, sell. Billions Plus of merchandise. So they'll have toys and everything. All you got to do so, is give her roller skating lessons if she needs them, but... So I'll, I'll remind people of Halle Berry and Catwoman. <laughs> okay. I just think Marvel has a better track record, though. I agree. So that was the timer. It looks like nobody's jumping on, but it seems, wow. it seems to be that. hot books of the coming days. I don't know. Yeah. Well, do your research. Take a look at what these are going for. If anyone's interested, hit me up later. Uh, the buy now price will be higher than this auction was, but... Uh, you know, it talk. definitely will be, ladies and gents. Don't uh, you guys don't sleep on what French Quarter throws up? He puts it up at a nice rate. Thank you, brother. All right, we'll see everybody next round. Okay, we got Lawman coming up. You ready, Lawman? Yeah. All right, we're gonna do something. You know. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Go. All right, so. We're gonna do something, like I say, try to try to do something good for the people. We're gonna do a little Saturday morning cartoon lot with our favorite G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. Early on, G.I. Joe number three, real American hero. G.I. Joe number three. Starting bid is ten dollars. Ten dollars. Number five. Let's get your start line. We have number six. We have number 10. We have 36. We have 54. And we have 53, the 25th anniversary edition. I don't know. Is that Snake Eyes? I don't know. Yep. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yep. So. I found this. Uh, I was like, okay, I didn't know G.I. Joe had one of these. Thank God. It would be coming. 
So again, it's 10. I have one add-in I can do, but it's, it's a little pricey. Uh, but we'll just see what the interest is on this one at $10 for this, oh, not that one, for this lot of early GI Joe. Those again, in, all in, all in, I want to say good. Uh, no, no, no. In, um, good mid grade between seven and eight. Seven and eight. Let's just say that. Good clean and press, like all good. Yet. And you have yourself some good stuff, especially this one. This book, this book is more than ten dollars all by itself. Beautiful book. If you don't have it, a lot of people are collecting 25, 25th anniversary covers, and uh, this is this is one of the one of the good ones. So again, you got three, you got five, you got six, you got ten, you got thirty-six, you have fifty-four. And last 53, the 25th anniversary edition. So, all these starting with ten dollars, nine dollars shipped. Real American hero, goodness, hard Sid. Now, if if if, if Sid, you if you said that I, I'm thinking you are already shipped your 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 last. Box out. So you got sit in for ten. I had to do another 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 thing. Nine dollars shipping. So so sit at ten. Beautiful little GI Joe line. GI Joe. Real American hero. GI Joe. So again. Cycle through them all. And Fifty-three. We have three, five, six, ten, thirty-six, and fifty-four. What the good book is fifty-three. Nice book. Twenty-fifth anniversary. And I guess that means it goes to Sid. Well, we're going to drop an end line, and if nobody beats the end line, that will definitely be the case. All right. Let's see here, end line coming in. Yep, Sid's going to take this down for 10. All right, Sid. 19 total. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. There's the lawman's info on the screen. There you go. All right. Awesome. And we'll move over to Shelby. All right. Sorry, I ran out of. Can't believe I, I seem like I just made up a whole bunch of bags and boards, but couldn't find them. Couldn't find them. Shelby, you got any Mylight over there, man? I do. I do. I've got a, some. How many packs are you hoarding? How many packs are you hoarding? Because I can't find any. Uh, I think I'm down to a hundred. Ooh. So two packs. Okay. Um. All right. How about all right? So if y'all don't know, um, I always kind of throw, I always kind of throw some extra stuff in. And I'm um, cleaning out the back room again, and I've got a little stack of books, so everybody gets a free book in their box and stuff tonight. Um, I've got a few buy it nows real quick. So I've almost sold out of all of these. I think I only have one copy of each of these left. So the first one is this Invincible Red Sonya, number one. Really amazing cover. Um, you can you can read the buttons on her on her. Oh, there's she's not wearing buttons. Never mind. Uh, but buy it now, ten dollars. The Kitty Man strikes. Wow. Buy it now, ten dollars. Red Sonya number one. Ah, uh, love that cover. 
right, I'm gonna sell these at cover price, and these are my last copies. I make boys cry. Number one, this is the full uh, cover. Uh, cover price ten dollars. And then I make boys cry. Lenticular cover. Uh, cover price twenty dollars. Who does the song? I know what boys want. Who does that song? So if anybody's interested in any of those, uh, you just do a buy it now. Okay, buy it now. Shallow. I don't remember HGM, but I know it's in a movie called Private School. Yeah, uh, Papa, I think you bought one. What that's worth. I'm almost sure you did. All right, so Shallow, I'm writing you down for that. Uh, give me a second, Todd. I didn't have a pen. No problem. Boys like me. All right, Shallow. All right, anybody else? So I have the two. Uh, I make boys cry. Number one, this is the full cover, and it's cover shallow price. Comics. You got Shallow Comics on the. Yeah, Shallow got the last red Sonya. That's what I was doing. I was looking around for a pen. Gotcha. Um, cats like to knock those off. And then I make boys cry. Lenticular cover, $20. And I'll have some more buy it now. It's coming later in the night. Okay, so I was cleaning out some books, and I tell you, these things just seem to freaking multiply somehow. But um, everybody's kind of bounty hunter crazy and stuff. So I'm going to start this out at $10, and I've got a few uh, books I can add to it. The first one is uh, Star Wars Bounty Hunters number five. And this, of course, is the uh, 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back cover. Um, so, pretty nice variant. And then the Star Wars Bounty Hunter, uh, just the regular cover, number five. And then Darth Vader, number 22. And so, it's not Bounty Hunters, but it's got Jabba the Hutt on it, which is the leader of the Bounty Hunters. So those three starting out at ten dollars. We got a ten dollar starting line coming in. There you go. We'll get your timer. Um, Looks like custodian Ken sang the waitresses sang that song. Oh okay. yeah, yeah, the waitresses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I know what boys like. I know what girls want. I know what boys like. Boys like. Boys like you. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Hey, hey, chill, chill out. You can get me. Uh, <laughs> you're doing that a little too long. Karaoke night. Could be worse. It could have been singing. I touch myself. Let's let's let's, let's focus. <laughs> look at look at look at that. He's like, focus, come on, people, come, on. come on, people, come on. <laughs> uh, I love 80s punk alternative music, man. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, Matrices is the bomb, dude. Well, it's you know what's, you know what's next coming? Turn in Japanese. You got me turning Japanese. I've never been so. Um, yeah, turn in Japanese and can turn in Japanese up to think so. All right, so uh, Josh is in for ten dollars. Um, anybody interested at twenty dollars? I will throw in these three the vapors. Yes, thank you, man. Y'all are good tonight. Hey, hey they know they're from um, the east. For ten more dollars, I'll throw these three Darth Vader in. Uh, this is Darth Vader. Number one, variant edition. Uh, so this is, um, yeah, cool variant edition. Darth Vader number one. You know, that's a little hot right now. And then uh, Target Darth Vader number two. And then Target Darth Vader number four. I'm not sure why I just have two and four somewhere in a box. I have no clue. No clue. But y'all know the Darth Vader number one has been gathering heat. I didn't notice those, the number one. Oh, I held that. Uh, 
throwing this in as your free book. And yeah. Oh, Josh, man. I think you got a steal on that Darth Vader 1 there, buddy. So, uh, coming in. All right. Looks like Josh is taking it down for 20. Nice pickup, Josh. Got the Very nice pickup. Star Wars books. All right, I'll message you here in a second, my brother. <clears throat> Thank you, Todd. Okay, back to me. Okay. Okay. Um, I found, I know Shelby's been doing, you did a show about all the kind of uh, different variant covers from different things. So for the Super Chat, I got three books. I'm going to start with just, uh, I know I got super chats from Teresa Newell, Papa Wheelie, and Tim Singh stuff. Every $1 on the super chat gets you one entry on the wheel. So if you super chat a dollar, you get one entry. If you super, super chat $10, you get 10 entries. Uh, I got a cliffhanger, uh, exclusive wi wizard sketchbook, cliffhanger zero. I got a Spider-Man and Power Pack. Uh, from the National Education Association. And we got uh, Teen Titans presented by the Keebler Company, those little elves that make the cookies. We got an anti-drug issue. Oh, yeah, that's great. I got that signed by George Prez and Marv Wolfman. Okay, so we'll get we'll get we'll get these three books and I'll I'll probably add a couple more books. Let me dig through some stuff. I'll find some more goodies to add, but just something a little different. Yeah, I love those promotional books. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Something a little different. Okay. Um So, you like bounty hunters, do you? You like some bounty hunters as well. Uh, at least Josh does. I'm just going to... We got your... This guy came out this week, I think, or last week, The Empire Strikes Back. This, this is War of the Bounty Hunters 1, the Boba Fett action figure variant. Yeah, those sold out quick. Yeah, and then I got the uh, Boba Fett, the black armor. This was the, the War of the Bounty Hunters Alpha. So if anybody's interested in these two, um, I'll do a buy now for 25 for the pair. Oh, there's my pen. Um, let's see. I can even. Let me see. I can throw in another copy of War of the Bounty Hunters. I'll throw you in a reader copy of War of the Bounty Hunters number one, Josh. If you want to buy it now, I'll throw that in too. I can do another set if anybody else is also looking for these. Boba Fett books. Let me know. I can probably do another set. I got you, Josh. 25 on the three books. So, so if Mad Spidey's loving the Aussie rock band stuff, uh, isn't Air Supply from Aus Australia? I'm not sure, but I know men at work are. They sing about Vegemite sandwiches. I know. So you got those, Josh? 
Let me put I'm you all out of love. I'm so lost without you, Todd. Shut up, Shelby. I'm gonna mute you. <laughs> I'm lying in this lake, but I'm thinking about you. <laughs> We're good. Uh, yeah, I got, I got you, Rico. I got you, Rico. We just we'll talk. Yeah, I got you taken care of, Rico. You're good. We'll talk this week. I know you called me. I tried calling you back. Thank you, Mad Spidey. You're, you're, okay, so. Boy, just all caps and just just shut up. Not, yeah. not any like, you can tone it down. Do you mind being quiet, sir? Just shut up. So I got, I got two more sets if anybody else wants them. Man. You go on and sing. You go on and sing this, Shelby. Go ahead and sing, man. Thank you, thank you, HM. Let it out, man. Let it out. I'm gonna put a hit out on your bad kangaroo. Got two more sets of those. If anybody's interested, I have some of the other covers too. Excuse me. So, Mad Spotty, the lead vocalist of Air Supply, is from Australia. Okay. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, I got this Ramparella version cover by... Uh... Man, I can't see that name. It's so tiny. With or without my glasses, it doesn't matter. But I think the, you know, the cover speaks for itself. You got that warrior lady and Vampirella all chained up. Ten bucks. I got a couple of these. Ten bucks. Buy it now if anybody's interested. Sexy sauce. What what are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, what do I even ask? <laughs> Why? Oh my goodness. Okay, so we got the Vampirella available. <laughs> That is not me. Seriously, somebody's. That is not me. Not me. Everybody's getting muted. That's it. Everybody's muted. Sorry, guys. Oh, I have um. The uh, this is the one in twenty-five, the trading card variant. I got a couple of these. This thing looks awesome. That's like Boba Fett in his classic pose. Trading card, John Tyler Christopher. Man. Uh, what's up, Comic Forge? 35. I can do 35 on these if anybody's interested. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you got a box, Arch Angelson's. I, I, you know, I hang on to this stuff. If I don't hear from you and you're like in mid box, I just hang on to it. So no problem, man. Just hit me up on IG. You want, uh, you want one of those Vampirellas, the ten dollar virgins? I got you. We'll just keep building your box and just communicate, and we'll get you set up. You're all good. So I got these available for thirty five. That's the one in twenty five trading card variant. They're gonna do, I think, trading card variants for the run. For all the different bounty hunters. I think that's the one at fifty. Okay. Let me pull one of those vampiros for you, Archangel. I got you on that Archangel Sins. $10 Virgin Vampy. Got some creepy. Creepy villains. 
Got that for you. Okay. Um, shoot. So I got this little Iron Man lot. Man, this lot's really little. <laughs> but it does have... Got 191. The original Iron Man armor, 200. Iron Man verse. Iron Monger. And then I got, what's up, Anthony Pena? Web of Spider-Man 118. Not offhand. I hear my phone buzzing. I don't even know where it's at. There it is. Okay. And then this is the MODOK. The cover. MODOK is dead. And he's still giving Iron Man a hard time. I could just do a buy now on these three books for ten dollars if anybody wants them. That's pretty, pretty good price for some old school Iron Man. If anybody wants the free Iron Man, if you want it for ten Elvis, you got it. I'll put your name on that Elvis. Sorry, Mad Spidey. Elvis beat you to the punch on the Iron Man's. Ugh. But I got... I can do a big stack of... I got a big stack of Wolverines that... I'll tell you what, I can... Man, I'll start one at a dollar, and every dollar that goes in, I'll throw another one in. So every, every dollar... Until I run out of Wolverine books, we'll bring another Wolverine book in. How many do you have? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, let's cut to the chase. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. So I got 28 books. Every dollar brings another book in. Now that is a builder lot. Well, so 28 bucks gets them all. 28, 28 bucks gets them all in. It's a hodgepodge of issues, but some cool ones. This one is 40, 35, featuring the villainy of Lady Deathstrike. Mr. Rodriguez at 30. Get some Goes more. to 30, so I'm just going to go through them. We got 35, Lady Deathstrike. We got 43. Looks like Wolvie's about to get his goose cooked. We got 44. A menace as old as time, as cold as death. Custodian Canyon at 35 now. Custodian Ken's at 35. We got uh, 73. This is where we enter the Wolverine on a motorcycle phase. 74, another motorcycle cover. We got 103 versus Electra. 109. Pretty cool cover. Let's see. Oh, Andy Cooper. Yeah, these are some cool Andy Cooper covers. Mad Spidey's at 40. Add Spidey's up to 40. Uh, 104. Some of these later Wolverines, they, they get a little bit tougher to find. Not really tough, tough, but 105. This is a really nice cover. Electron Wolverine, Adam Kubert. Contrast. There's Wolverine Shaman from Alpha Flight. And we got a beautiful Adam Kubert. Another shade of things to come. 
This is 1012, Agents of Evil. Gorilla Grodd in the house now. What's up, Gorilla Grodd Comics? We're double gorilla I love your name. <laughs> Custodian Ken's at 41. We got 113. You're both gingers. Mad Spidey at 45. Wolverine 120. Getting shot up with it. something. Not dead yet. Uh, that's part two. Here's part three. Number 121. Did I have 119? No. 122. Not dead yet. Part four. Custodian Ken takes it to 46. And then plays at 45. And then 46 for Custodian Ken. 123. So you see, he got a good range of all these. 124. 125. You'll never believe the shock ending. Guess uh, stars galore. 126. Sabretooth is back. That's a pretty cool cover. Who did that? Mad Spidey at 50. Oh, uh, this is, I think we're in some Lionel Francis U cover uh, issues. Nice. Matt Spidey's at 50. We've got 151. One fifty two. Pretty cool. Custodian Ken folds. Hey, technically we're not even over two dollars a book right now. 160 girls with size and lollipops and wolverine this is a pretty cool cover alpha flight and wolverine by sean chen and at 173 this is a david finch cover pretty awesome and then I have Wolverine 51. But I think this is from the later run, but beautiful Simone Bianchi cover and artwork in that one. <laughs> so I think we got a bunch of folds. Let's see. Did, did, I think uh, Matt Spidey's taking it down, right? The Josh fold. Joshua Rodriguez is the only one that looks to be still in it. Along with Mad Spidey. Okay. Joshua, are you going to fold? Or are you still in? Okay, so that's the lot at this point. We got Mad Spidey with the high bit of 50. Josh, you have it's up to you. You have the option to bid or fold, it looks like. See your bid of 30. Don't see a fold. Okay, so we're just... That's the lot. 28 bucks. So it's going to be 15 shipping. Unless you're Mad Spidey, which we're working out. Shipping a pallet to Australia. Uh, Josh Folds. Okay, so Mad Spidey, that's your, your lot for 50. Awesome. Let me type an end line. Getting ahead of myself. Not bad. There's the end line. I don't know why I kept the V, but that's that. And we will move over to Sands Group. Thank you, Gorilla Todd. And you put up some fire, fire wolvy. So, um, try to hook that, Yeah, absolutely. I love it. People up, man. When I get the chance and it makes sense. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to follow Wolvie with some Wolvie, ladies and gents. So um, once again, we got $10 polls. The $10 polls, um, once we're out of those, we're doing a raffle for yeah. this boy. That is on the raffle. There's also a Funko lot in there and uh, an indie lot in there. So $10 polls, you can get five, you get six for 50 or 12 for 100. We got the $5 polls. Um, there is an indie lot 
and a Funko lot in there. Excuse me, an indie lot and a um. There's two hits in the in the five dollar pull. I gotta can't remember what the second one was, but there's a couple hits in the five dollar pulls. Six for twenty five, twelve for fifty. We sell out on that. I will grab a slap raffle as well, my friend. So let me know if you want any pulls. Thank you, Smoke em, for putting those up. Let's get started with some Wolvie and we can build. We can build. So I'm going to do this beautiful Wolvie cover right here. This is Wolverine number three from the Limited Frank Miller series. I'm going to put this at a uh, near mint minus. You all know how hard it is to get this black cover in a high grade. So we're going to start the bidding off on this at $40 and we can build. Okay, $40 starting line. Looks like Shallow Comics wants six for 25 on the pulls. I got you, Shallow. I got you, Shallow. Right. Two. Three. Hey, G Ho. Four. Five. Six. All right, so $40 starting bid on the Wolverine number three. Uh, if we got it to 150 that would come in. High-grade copy of Wolverine number one. So you got the Frank Miller, uh, the early run, um, limited edition number three, and then you have Potch. 1988 run it, number one high grade copy direct that comes in at 150. And then if we wanted to get completely bonkers, this is just completely bonkers, right? I got NYX number three, extremely high grade. This would come in if we got it to twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred. That's that's just the the complete bonkers Wolverine. If we wanted to go there, but it's super high grade. I would put it at near mint plus or better. And so right now, Matt Sherman is in on the classic Wolverine cover. Let me show my man Shallow his six pulls. All right, Shallow, nice. You have a newsstand on the Gen 13 Zero. You have a variant on the Iron Man number one, 2020. You have the Immortal Hulk number one. This is absolute carnage, Immortal Hulk number one. You have an absolute carnage number four, my friend. You have a two pack. This is Powers of X, number five of six and number six of six. And then you have a virgin cover on the Storm 301. Thank you so much, Shadow. Appreciate you, my friend. Again, we got some nice hits in there. That's in right now, $40. Super beautiful black cover on Wolverine number three. You all know how hard it is. These covers are blowing up, ladies and gents. And this one I would put at a high grade. Wolverine number one. Spine slide. That is pretty. Yeah, that's a tough book to get in a 
Yeah, it's almost like having a, a second first cover right here. When you get this slab and you turn it around and you see this, this is just gorgeous, isn't it? So that would come in if we got it uh, to 150, ladies and gents. So we got Big Baby in at 44. Matt Sherman's going to 150. He wants that Wolverine number one. All right, so we got the two books in now. Okay, we did have a couple multiple bidders here, so. Now, ladies and gents, look that up. You all know what this is. It's NYX number three. I think everyone's folded, so we may be all done, but... Yeah, I see Big Baby folds, Sean Morris folds, so... Matt's the high bid at 150. Matt, Looks I would like say that. she's a candidate. Near Matt Plus or better. You know what this goes for in a 9.8, 9.6 is the price, so let me know if you want that, my friend. Thank you guys so much for bidding. Appreciate you as always. We got some great Funko lots back there. We got some indie lots that are in here. Um, we got a slab to give away. So continue to get your pulls. Continue to get your uh, name on the waffle. Let's do this. Uh, Matt, let me know if you want the next level, my friend. I know it's pricey, but I think it's worth it. So appreciate you. Like Teresa time. wants six of the $10 pulls. All right. Let me grab those for you. One. Two, three, four, five, six. All right. We have about one set of $10 poles left of six. We got a Wolverine number one, Teresa. You got a Batman who laughs number one. And the Grim Knight cover number one. You have a Power Ranger. Um, this is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number three. And the Shattered Grid variant. You have a Venom 150 Comic Mint variant. Nice hit. And you have a Death Metal number six. And a Death Metal number six. Uh, put them. These are both Latina covers, so uh, you got that together and you have black cat number one and number two thank you Teresa we have about one more set of polls left and we are all set on the ten dollar polls we will run the raffle again every ten dollars that you spent will put your name on the raffle so nice work Teresa appreciate everybody take care awesome we'll move right over to French Quarter all right, hello again, everyone. Uh, right now, this round is Superman number four, the first appearance of Bloodsport. Bloodsport is the character that is played by Idris Elba in the upcoming Suicide Squad uh, James Gunn movie that will come out August 6th, I believe. Um, Idris Elba, of course, is uh, the star of the film, on, according to the poster. He's the top character on the poster that stacks a bunch of them up. He's the lead guy in the trailer that we've seen so far. He's Idris Elba. Of course, he's going to be the big star of this movie. So, uh, right now, I'm letting this go for 115 shift, which makes it basically a hundred dollar slab. It's a 9.0. Uh, this is only going to go up uh, in in August or probably in July when the, the more trailers start coming out. So, if there's a chance to get on this book right now. First appearance of Bloodsport for a really affordable price in a 9.0. And then, for the big auction, I promised the biggest MODOK book that I could come up with. And here it is. Tales of Suspense 94. This is the first appearance of MODOK. Also the first cover appearance. You can see him in this corner of the cover. This is a CGC 6.0. Uh, it is a Stanley story. You've got Kirby cover. Gene Colon art on the inside. 
Captain America fighting AIM soldiers on the cover with Modoc angrily scowling in the background. His first full appearance. Uh, I'm going to start this at $250. Starting line of $250. Two five zero two fifty start line coming in. Between rounds, I looked up uh, on Go Collect. Oops. I just dropped my notes. I looked up the last three sales of this book. Um, there were actually three sales in this grade in April of this year. Uh, first was for 225 on April 1st, then it went to 275 on April 23rd, and then a third one sold for 276 on April 26th. Uh, those were all before the show came out, of course. This has only gone up, but uh, right now I'm offering it for less than that. 250 starting bid, $15 shipping. The first appearance of Moda. There about a minute and a half left on the timer. Help us leave the building. He was the one that wanted to see Modoc books. Spidey, you could always crack it and take it out. <laughs> Sent this in the CGC February 3rd, and it just got here last Wednesday, finally. Yeah, you know the. I don't want to say this. Like, older older books, like mid grades. You know, you can. De there's definitely a market where they get. You get more for them when they're slabbed, but it. Then there's a certain segment that doesn't. Get into the lower mid to lower grades, you know. Yeah. It all depends. Yeah, the, the 9 8 in this is going for, see, we're going to go collect the last, the last 9 8 sold for $12,600. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> a good book. It's just it's pulling up the rest of them, and this yeah. is this is one you want to just have in your collection. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there's still meat on the bone, so hit up, hit up French Quarter, man. It, What's up, Rock City? Definitely meat on the bone. All right, well, so much for that try. We'll see you next round with some other stuff uh, that'll be a little bit more budget priced, I guess. Awesome. HGM, are you ready, sir? Yes, sir. Well, let's see. I don't you know. People are a little antsy on, on spending a lot of money, but if it's a good book, I think they're, they're willing to try. But we're going to give this a shot. Uh Nice. I think we all know what this is. This is X Men two sixty six newsstand in absolutely beautiful condition. Let's do it all nice and easy, nice and good for you. Put it right there so you see it. That's just the way the sticker was. Arguably the first appearance of Gambit. But for those of you that disagree, we got this. <laughs> that way. And another one of these. Look at 
Oh my, look at, the, look at the back of that bad boy. Oh, that is beautiful. That's nice looking. All the way through. Starting bid for the lot. It's going to be 250 Okay, there it is. Absolutely. Got your timer going. Either way you want to slice it, he's got your first appearance at Gambit. That's right. That's the lot that makes every Gambit fan happy. Your next man, your next man, I see these. Well, these, these books have always been blowing up, but. They're insane slab now, but this is a really, really good set, and they're really, really good copies. Um, yep, Anthony Payne knows quality when he sees it. He's in for two fifty. All right, Mister Pena. Nice. Yeah, I, I, I have, I have, I have this already. Unfortunately, got a nine six, but you know, I, I, I'm all right with it. Can't win them all. Can't win them all, man. You can't win them all, but like I say, certainly can always try. You know, it, it, it's you know, I, like I say, I found a new LCS today. If you go on my YouTube channel, you can. I, well, no, I don't have that video up yet. I just made it before I came on, but I'll put that up next tomorrow. Um, he had a ton of the, he had a ton of books. I mean, a ton of them. I mean, I didn't even get a chance to crack. All of them at all, but you know, had a ton of them, ton of keys. I mean, just insane amount. You're um, right, Tim Singh stuff. There's nothing wrong with the nine six. Nothing, I mean, true. Nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. glad to have it. I'm glad. Nothing to have wrong it. with an eight point oh or a six point oh or a three point five. There's you certain books the that, you have that are classic books that you just set. You doesn't matter what the grade is. Your classic books, you have them, and they're yeah. good. Sid's in the two sixty. All right, moving to the glares off them. And guys, just in case if I, I don't remember if I said it, you know, we do one dollar increments up to a hundred. Now, since we're starting over a hundred, at least five dollar increments at the minimum. We got Pena in at Anthony Pena at 265, which oh, you guys are pros here on it. Comic book flipping at 275. Man. What's up, comic book flipping? Hey, comic book flipping, man. Lurking in the back. There you go. This this this, this bring you out, don't it? Yes, it does. The All keys, right. The keys bring the keys bring the people to the to the auction. The really good ones do. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, let me just reset that. We got a good auction going here. We got comic book flipping with the lead at two eighty. I might put this up next round, dear people. First appearance of him. Beautiful book. That's a good one. I think I got that one in like a 7.5, which I'm pretty happy with. Let's see. Sid went to 3. Comic book flipping to 310. Another one that can be available. Ooh. That's a love this cover. Love got this that cover. one in my collection, too. Love this, <laughs> love this so, cover. Except mine's got the little Signet Storanko signature on it. Hey, hey. You gotta, get, you gotta get that thing when he does another signing, when he does another like CGC signing. Get that thing signed and slabbed. Speaking of signing, he's doing a signing uh next month, I believe. Yeah, he does them pretty pretty consistently. We got the goodies, we got some goodies tonight. Again for the Saturday morning cartoon crew. So always have something for the, for the folks available. We can, we can heat it up. We can keep it cool. <laughs> so we got Sid with the well. I suppose we got Pena's back at three thirty. Comic book flipping came in at three thirty, but but second. So if I didn't tell you, it's nine dollars shipping, but you know, just want 
throw that out there. A nice, nice Gemini for you. Beautiful books. Power book flippings at 335. Three forty for Sid. Now, what I'm going to do also three fifty for comic book flipping. For the person that wins this lot, I'm going to throw it. Now, this is not the copy I showed earlier. This is a this is a a low grade copy of the first appearance of him. But I'm going to throw that in. That's a nice the person that wins this lot. Gratis. That is a it's nice a, bonus book. It's a, it's a, it's a, you know, it, it's a, it's a, it's a good key book, it's low grade, but hey, you can't go wrong. It's complete, you know. But for those who are bidding, doing well bidding, I really appreciate three fifty five. Says a three sixty. Three sixty-five from comic book flipping. Pain is first at three seventy. Comic book flipping drops a mini hammer goes to three ninety. So so um, Todd, can can I add one more book or no? Yeah, you can do whatever you want to do, man. I, 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 hey, it's my first time on. Just trying to be, just trying to lay the rules. It's not your first time, but it's your first time in a while. Well, in a while, yeah. I, so, I try, look, I, yeah, okay, fair enough. You know, you don't know how things have evolved and changed, yeah. but I try to be as accommodating. So. You know, you got something you want to add to add some value to the lot? By all means, go for you it. Get, you get the 450. And how many is in at 395? Four fifty. Book flippings at 410. So at 450, first appearance of Bishop comes in. Yes, it does. That book has recently gone supernova. Yes, it has. But even if not, you still got a great lot with this one. You got a great lot, a lot of room. Beautiful. Anthony Payne is in a 415. Jeff Silversmith comes in at 450. Oh, Mr. Silversmith. Oh, he was you, Jeff. All right, Jeff. Comic book flipping. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is in now. So you got four books in the lot now. Either, either book you think is the first appearance of Gambit, the first appearance of him, and the first appearance of Bishop. That's a quality lot right there. Ooh, doggy. We got some nice books here. Painting is in a 460. Jeff's in a 475. Okay, Sid folds, comic book flippings out, folds. So we still got, we got Jeff with the high bid, Anthony Payne is still in. Now I, I, I'm lo I'm loath to do this, but 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 I will if we go to. Anthony's at four eighty.
Yeah, definitely a fire lot. A hundred percent comic book flipping. If we go to seven hundred, I'll put the the really good copy of first appearance of him in as well. That's at 700. No. Yes. Sorry. I was trying to remember. I'm trying to do my Adam. Because, I mean, this. You're at, you're at 480, so 700 will be 220 more. Yeah. I mean, this This is. This is I mean, everyone yeah, I, knows. Okay. I traded a 6 5 copy of Submariner number one for a 7 5 copy of that book. Yeah. So, a 6 5 Submariner one is a pretty solid book. <laughs> oh, absolutely. absolutely. So, you know what? I. I, I, that I'm just saying it's it's that that's right there is a serious book. That first him with the cocoon on the cover. I need more scotch tape. So I know I'm stretching it. I know I'm stretching. People try to kind of dig through the couch to get some more quarters out. Well, a lot like this doesn't come up that often. First appearance of him, first appearance of Gambit, both of them. Dude. First appearance of Bishop. What, what, would you would you throw a, what do you think that, that book grades out at, that Fantastic Four? I'm going to say a 7.5. This yeah. one, I mean, like I said, it's not pristine white, but it's a, it's a really good mid-grade. Right, I hear you. Okay, so, right, so we have that's almost. Points. I would almost say it's it's almost a no brainer at this point. But <laughs> Jeff's gonna fold, so it looks like Anthony Pena is gonna take this down to four eighty. I don't think anybody else is still. Your flipping's out. Sid's out. Okay, yeah, Mister Pena, excellent, excellent, excellent choice, sir. Uh, my information is down in the in the in the information. Section, please. It'll be four eighty nine. Nice pickup, Anthony Pena. Beautiful lot. Beautiful lot, HGM. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Appreciate everyone bidding. Congratulations, Anthony. You got some awesome key books there. Beautiful books. Beautiful books on Gorilla's auction. Plethora of first appearances. Yes, indeed. Plethora of keys to. It's great and and hold and do whatever. Thank you, sir. Really okay. appreciate it. Move right over to Shelby. Oh, that was exciting, man. Yes, it was. It was. Yeah, love seeing those big bids coming in. Love seeing those big books. Hey, I'm still on my fight to 250 subs. I just dropped my channel link. I saw a lot of uh, people that um, I know it not sub to me. So definitely help a brother out. Go sub. Yeah, definitely. I really appreciate it. Definitely sub shall be up. Let's get them to 250. We got 77 people watching. Thank you. We just jumped up to 81 people watching. Thank you to every one of you. Please, Gorilla, smash the thumbs Gorilla up. Gorilla, smash that thumb. Definitely sub up, Shelby. Shut, throw, please, all the, all the panelists, I have either their, at least their IG information. If I'm not, a, you know, if I didn't get their YouTube channels in, but hook them up and, and sub up their channels and help them grow. All right. I'm going to start this lot out at $20. That is cover price for these books. It is five books. Uh, Ice Cream Man. So I have Ice Cream Man number 23rd print. Ice Cream Man number 24, 23, uh, cover A. Ice Cream Man 23, cover B. Ice Cream Man 24, cover A. And then Ice Cream Man uh, 24, cover B. So five great Ice Cream Man books starting at uh, $20, which is $20 cover. $20 starting line coming in. There you go. Okay. Ice Cream yeah. Man 23rd print. Awesome. Looks like we got a couple of subs for you. Thank you to everybody who's subbing Shelby up and sub, subbing up the panel. That's how we grow the community. Definitely. Definitely. Yep. I drop content uh, throughout the week. Thank you, Mads, buddy. Um, and uh, I'll be doing a special announcement here in about a week. I ain't going to spoil it. But boy, oh, boy. Coming up. So... 
Uh, Ice Cream Man 23, cover A. Ice Cream Man 23, cover B. Ice Cream Man 24, cover A. And then Ice Cream Man 24, cover B. So starting right now at just uh, $20. Twenty dollars starting line right there. Everybody's in shock after seeing seeing all those big books. So I'll be having several. Um, independent lots coming up uh so if y'all are in the, into independent books uh definitely stick around for that i'll be having a whole bunch of a uh, lot of number ones coming up i'll be throwing up some girl books some lady death uh which always is a big hit and then we'll see what goes on after that yeah <sighs> HD Anthony Payton is asking how he should send you his shipping info. Uh, you can do that probably through Instagram or through email, Anthony. If you need the lawman's Instagram, it's in the description. Yeah, or, or you can just see it, send them via me. Or you can email them. So... You got yeah. some ice cream man books, Shelby's. I got for auction right now, starting at cover price. I think five bucks a piece. Uh, four dollars. Yeah. Four dollars each. each five books. Yep. Four times five. What happened? That was a quick two and a half minutes. Oh, well, wants any ice cream man books? Welcome, What's Maz. Up, Maz? Good uh, to see you, Maz. Uh, Maz. Oh, I have a few by now. I forgot. Real quick. Okay, show them. Show them. Real quick. Real quick. Oh, um, really nice Spawn 300 signed by J. Scott Campbell. Buy it now, forty dollars. So Spawn 300 signed by J. Scott Campbell. Uh, Matt Spotty, I don't think so. I think I've sent them all to Todd. Um, buy it now, uh, twenty dollars for the cover price for the Boys Don't Cry lenticular cover. Boys Don't Cry full cover. And I dropped the price on this. This is Vampirella. Um, <sighs> Prowl of the Soul uh, set. Dropped at $25. So you get the colored and the black and white. And they are limited to only 666 copies. So. Yikes. I know. Guaranteed to send you to hell. But um, got all those. Like I said, J. Scott Campbell. Sign. Spawn 300. Uh, uh, Forty dollars. Boys don't cry. Full cover, ten dollars. And then uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I make boys cry. Uh, um, twenty dollars. So, thank you all. But I will double check, Matt Spidey. I'm only sure everything was sent to Todd. So. I'm done. Okay. Cool. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I just saw all of a sudden me and IG, I was I eat a gene. Okay. And back to me. Jeez, this is a pretty hectic setup. <laughs> okay. Um okay, I got some buy it nows. Um I have some a couple of mini series. Uh, that I'm just going to offer is $10 buy it nows. Um, this first one is Superman and Batman Generations 2. Uh, this is by uh, John Byrne. So it's like John Byrne taking, going through, I guess, his own version of the different generations of uh, Batman and Superman. I'm pretty sure I read the first one at some point. It was a good read. You know, if you like John Byrne, it's definitely a good read. Um, 
to John Byrne uh, story and art in there? Yeah, yeah. He wow. did the whole thing. I don't think I've ever seen that. It's John Byrne with Trish Mulville. You know, it's like like issue one is 1942, 1953. That's cool. You know, and it's, it, it goes across the whole DC universe. I've never 2008, seen that. 2019, that's issue two, issue four. Issue three is 86 to 97. You know, so you get his like future versions yeah. of different characters. What's your starting on that? Or what's uh, going on? No, I said buy it now, ten bucks. Oh my god. Well, if no one no one jumps on that, I will take that for sure. Well, you heard them people. If nobody wants this, I'm gonna give it to Shelby for the ten bucks. Yeah. And Maz, thank you. Um I actually did some new lighting. So I actually have uh Okay, because Tony and Ken's not going to let you have it. Not going to let me have it. All right, Ken. But I actually learned to bounce the light off of my wall and back at me instead of directly at me. So um, it actually gives it a little bit, yeah, deeper color. So um, Okay. What's up, Mr. Taz and Jr.? I appreciate you guys. So thank you for noticing, Mass. Custodian Ken. Got that for ten bucks. That set, but hey. Yep. Thank you for noticing. Here's uh, another. Here's another deal for you. I took shower yesterday. I didn't take one today, but I did put on fresh shirt. A fresh shirt for you. Oh boy. Get a little closer. I'll do these two for. This one's going to be fifteen by now. I got Cosmic Odyssey. Oh. This is Starlin, Magnola. Magnol, yep. At the top of their game in the DC Universe, 15 bucks, all four issues. You got Man. Mike Magnola drawing the demon. What's up, Comic Crack? Jim Starlin writing. Great stuff. Great stuff. People need this in their life if you don't have so it. This is a great series. Fifteen dollars, buy it now. Get you the complete series. Mm. And you know, Starlink can write some cosmic stuff. And if you not, if you not a lover of Mike Mag Magno Magnolia, the Magnola, Magnola art. So, if anybody's interested in that, definitely let me know. This is one of the a really great story featuring, man, it's the whole, got a whole bevy of DC characters. Um, Which is the hack variant, Maz, are you saying? And then I got one other miniseries I'll show you. I got the Books of Magic. This is written by Neil Gaiman. So we got book. That's actually book four. I got them backwards. Here's book one. Book two. Book three. What's up, Shal? Thanks for the super chat okay yeah i see which one it is maz let me go check and see if i've got an extra one buddy so i got the books of magic i'll tell you what if anybody wants cosmic odyssey or books of magic i'll do either set ten dollars each i'll drop it down for 15 so if anybody wants either one of these sets books of magic or cosmic odyssey they're both four book sets, ten dollars, so two fifty a book. That that might even be less than the cover price when they came out, like twenty years ago. Yeah, <laughs> that's less than cover price. Great, and that's a that's a Neil Gaiman written story. Ties into Sandman. You want the Cosmic Odyssey? You got it, and you got Books of Magic. Let's see who got Books of Magic first. It looks like Teresa Newell. Is the first one I see. Sorry, Shallow. Teresa beat you. Okay. Book 
Okay, so we got Teresa Newham for ten dollars on the books of magic, and then studying Ken. In Cosmic Odyssey. Okay, got those for you. Let's put those. Uh. Give me one second, guys. Um, yeah, I can't even find my copy. I know I ordered them from Sanctum. Sorry about that. So we got those taken care of. Okay, I can do um, similar to the to the Wolverine lot. I got a Thor lot of like just cool Thor books I pulled today. So, like I said, I'll, I'll give you the total: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 29, um, yeah, we got that mass lecture, thanks, so. <laughs> so twenty what did I say, twenty-nine books. So like uh I'll start it at a buck. This is Thor number one, the uh Jurgen Dramita run. You know, and it's just there's some cool Thor books in here. Every buck adds another book. Timer going. Yeah, definitely, Matt. Somebody did tell us, but uh, appreciate you checking. You know, checking it through. So, Lord of Brooklyn, you're in for 10. So, let me just count out the first 10 books. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's see. So, we got Thor 1. We got 12, 13, uh, 14 with Iron Man. And the Grey Gold. Who is that? Oh, the Absorbing Man. 15, The Warriors 3, 18, we got 21 with Thanos and Magog, got some serious stuff going on there, we got uh, this, then we get into a fraction run, we got issue 5 of the Mighty Thor with Oliver Copial Art. Some more fraction with the destroyer, uh, and then number seven. So we got ten, ten dollars from Motor Brooklyn. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten dollars, ten books in the in the lot so far. Got about 30 seconds left. The next book that would come in is The Mighty Thor number eight, by Fraction and Furry, introducing the Mighty Tannerus.
2K Loader Brooklyn. So you got the first 10 for 10. If you want any more, we got a nice lot there. But as you are getting bitter, I will drop the end line. You let me know if you want more. Put those aside and we will write you down. Okay, thank you very much. We'll move over to Sands. Thank you, Gorilla Todd. We are rocking and rolling. I've seen some big books tonight, ladies and gents. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Once again, smash that like button. Let's see where we're at. Let's get that number up. We will have a giveaway if we get it up to 100, ladies and gents. Let's do that tonight. Sub up your panel members. I'm also having a 250 uh, um, YouTube subscriber giveaway. I'm close. I'm at 235, maybe a couple more tonight. 15 more, and I'll have a special show for my YouTube subscribers. All right, ladies and gents, we have the $10 polls. We have the $5 polls. In the $5 poll, we have a slab. We also have a Funko lot in there. Um, so... You don't have to wait to get all of the pulls and the five dollars to get the slab. You can get the hit in the slab, uh, the hit slab in the five dollar pull. We have about six um, ten dollar pulls left, and then we'll be doing the raffle for the other slab, which is the nine six signed by Capullo. That's Batman fourteen that family. That will be running um, after the next. Six polls in the ten dollar uh, polls. So you can get uh, six for fifty on the ten dollar poll, or you can get from the five dollar polls six for twenty five or twelve for fifty. Let me know, ladies and gents. Um, let me show a buy it now for this round. I have number one. This is the Galinda um, Galinda variant. One of 500, I will do 65 shipped on this, 65 shipped. All right. I have also a set of Shadow Man, uh, number one, super dope variant right here, Shadow Man number one. I would do a set of these for 85 shipped. 85 shipped on the Shadow Man. And my last buy it now is Noctora number one. This is the version variant. Um, excuse me, Noctora number three. John Gallagher version variant. Limited to 500 pieces. This will be 60 shipped. 60 shipped. All right, we're going to start this round. We're going to start this round off at one. 180, ladies and gents. 180. All right. We have something that's killing those chilling. Something that's killing those chilling. All right, ladies and gents. We have something that's killing those children. This is number 16. That is your Shaw cover. Beautiful, beautiful cover. That is something that's killing the children. Number 16, the crease cover. That's your creed cover. And we have the 1 in 25 Jenny Frizen cover. Look these three up, ladies and gents. A lot of meat on bone. We're starting this off at 185, 180, 180. And we can build. All right. Pop. Don't let me down. Pop wants to. Oh, wait. Pop retracted. All right. No problem, Pop. So Teresa is going to close this out. Teresa, you get your final polls. All right. Teresa, you have Electra number one, 
Uh, this is Electro Assassin, the Bill Sinkovich cover. Bill is doing a signing, so get that in. This is also what Something is Killing the Children has a homage to for number 16 by Bill Sinkovich. You got the Funko lot, Teresa. Teresa so, won that lot? Yep, Teresa won. Cool. If she needs uh, that, that Electro Assassin 2 through 8, I have it. <laughs> you heard you heard gorilla i'll hook her up for a good price too i'll hook you up Teresa. you got the silver surfer black number three you got tales of teen titan starfire number three number four excuse me a four that's her origin you got avengers 194 and 195 that is the cameo taskmaster right there nice mm -hmm. hit you have Falcon and the Winter Soldier number one. That book is getting some heat. And you got the uh, big indie lot for um, for the $10 polls. So let me show you your Funko and your indie. But I'll go back to the something that's killing the children. These three books right here, ladies and gents. Last sales on this is 70 bucks. Last sells on that is a hundred dollars, and last sells on that is seventy bucks. So, one eighty starting bid. Teresa, here's your indie lot. You got Nottingham number three, Layla Star number two, the decal cover. This is the one in twenty five. And you got the one in 25 on the Basilisk, Teresa. One in 25 on the Basilisk. You're fun. Hey, Sean. What's up, Sean Richards? How you doing, my friend? Teresa, you have. What about Bob? This has a theme. I'm not sure if you can tell. But you have three pops. Oh, Bill Murray. From Stripes to John Mayer pop. From What About Bob? Bob Wally pop with his fish. And you also have Peter Bankman, Dr. Peter Bankman from Ghostbusters. So nice hits. Appreciate you, Teresa. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, in the five dollar pulls we still have an indie lot and we still have a uh uh slab in there indie lot and a slab the slab in there is that and next round we will run or later on we'll run the um the raffle for the ten dollar pulls i gotta check if anyone else got ten dollar pulls it may all be teresa so the, the slab may be hers. That's one way to do it. We got less than a minute left on the clock, ladies and gents. Yeah, less we got than a minute left. 17 seconds. 17 seconds for some fire in me. If you don't have your something is killing the children, number 16, get on it. What up, Warlock? Shallow wants two. Shallow one, two five dollar pulls. Shallow Thank you, Warlock. Got a Wolverine number nine, the hand claw cover, and you got an amazing Spider Man number one. That is the King in Black number one. All right, they just for 50 on the five dollar pulls, right. Yes. Yeah. Right. 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 It's good to see you in the chat. It's twelve for fifty. Two five dollar pulls. Oh wait, he, was he asking? He's yeah. just. I think he's just asking. Yeah, he's just asking. He's not. Yeah, the clarifying price. All right. I think that's the timer. Yep. On the indie. He said, "Count them in for 12 I'll pull those really quickly for you, and we will move on. If anyone wants okay. any of that, something is killing the children. Hit me up. One. I'll drop the end line just to three, be tidy. Four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, Nightmare Bikes. You have a Hellboy, young Hellboy, number one of four. We have Proctor Valley Road, number three. Shadecraft, number two, the B cover. Proctor Valley Road, number three, the B cover. You got a Symbiote Spider-Man, number one variant. Marvel Holiday Special, number one, one shot. You got a Bitter Root, number six. Secrets of the Sinister House, number one from DC Comics. You got a Howard the Duck, number 19. That's that homage cover to Spider Man. Spidey 50. You got a Boba Fett Marvel cover. Immortal Hulk, number 44. Catwoman, 24. Thank you so much, Nightmare Bites. Appreciate it. Awesome. And we'll move over to F to French Quarter. Thanks, Sans. You got it, my brother. Well, again, everyone, uh, for this round, uh, for a bite now, I've got two copies of the Kyle New uh, exclusive virgin variant for Silk number three. Uh, they're $40 shipped. There are two available. Got forty dollars shipped a piece, or one shipping price if you want both. Uh, for the auction round, got some nice Green Foster Thor action here. Uh, we're going to start this round at sixty dollars. This lot includes Secret Wars number one. This is the Marvel Collector Core Lady Thor Funko Pop variant. Next, we have Mighty Thor number one in the 2015 run. This is beautiful, mainly capable copy. All three of these actually are near mint, near mint plus. And the third book is Mighty Thor number five, the 2016 Women of Power variant cover by Laura Braga. Go collect out the fair market value on these three books at about $180. We're starting off at one third of that at 60. You know, Jane Foster Thor is on her way. Natalie Portman playing that role in the next Thor Love and Thunder movie. Crispy, crispy, clean copies. You got Shallow Comics in at 60. Thank you, Shallow. We've got over 70 people in the chat. We thank all of you for sticking around and hanging out with us tonight. Definitely, definitely. Time to fly. We've only, almost been on for three hours already. I haven't, I don't think I've looked at the clock once. Yeah, we're looking at too many great books tonight. <laughs> that makes the time pass quickly. Yep. Time flies when you're having fun. Absolutely does. I love that Funko Pop cover. It yeah, is that's slick. I was almost gonna say if nobody bid on that, man, I, I was gonna yeah. jump on that just for that. And you guys know Jane Foster is coming, so it is. Yeah, uh, yeah. So uh, I know I'll get my money out of the other two books. I already got them, so yeah, there's a lot of room to grow on this. Definitely. But I want to say thank you to the 68 people we still got watching. Please, gorilla, smash that thumbs up if you haven't already. 
please, please, please sub up all my panel members, everybody who's working hard to bring you good books. Um, you know, we, we appreciate you guys hanging out, you guys and girls, everybody, women, men, everybody hanging out with us. Uh, and I, I appreciate every one of my panelists hanging out and selling books, helping me grow the grow the channel, my channel, and grow the auction and grow the community. It's good stuff. You know, I always try to give people opportunities to sell on the show. You see, I have, you know, uh, you know, some of the same faces, but some different faces. And, you know, I try to work with people. I'm going to get back to doing the shows more consistently. Now that I got some breathing room with time, I'm looking forward to it. We got about 20 seconds left on the clock. Thanks, Houdat. I appreciate that. You know, Houdat's a pillar of the auction community. So to get a compliment like that from you, man, it, it, I appreciate that. And I got to say thanks to Houdat. Houdat, you've been one of the people who have supported me since I started, and I appreciate that very much. Okay, so that was the buzzer. Right. Shallow's the only bidder, so it looks like Shallow's taking this down. All right, Shallow. Uh, it's a nice pickup. It absolutely is. My payment information's down there. Cash app preferred. Uh, dollar sign French Quarter Comics. But if you need another route, put me on IG, FQ Comics. We'll see everybody next round. Okay, we're going to go over to HGM. When you're ready, sir. Yep. All right, I'm, I'm going to take a real chance here, uh, go out on a limb, and do something from DC. Yeah. No. You, know, you, don't, you don't need an invite. You just let me know you want to get on, and we'll get you on. You know I told you that. So. What, what kind of hotness you got for us this round, HG? You know, right, let me say, I got some DC Frank Miller goodness. Now, we're going to have to start this one off at $100. Okay. Because we have Batman Year One, Part One. Absolutely pristine condition. This came from the garage. Year One, Part Two. Okay. Year One, Part Three. And Part Four. Now, yeah, Batman, Dark Knight Returns, this is issue number three. This is the first print. But the big kicker, first print, Batman, Dark Knight Returns, issue number one. Sounds good, who that? You just let me know. Dude, I can't let you show those year one books without talking about the art. The art is by David Mazzuchelli. The story is by Frank Miller. But the art in year one is phenomenal. He also did uh, the uh, some Daredevil uh, stories with Frank Miller. But the art in year one is some of the best sequential art you will see in a comic book. I mean, and I say that bar none. It's like right up there with anything... You, you want to throw at it. Now, like I said, I'm taking a chance to the BC, but good book's a good book. Yeah. Great series by, by Frank Miller. Yeah, Sid's in at 100. All right, Sid. What's up, Marcos? Big Drops 13. Good to see you. What's cracking? We're just hanging out, selling some comics. Having a good time. So Sid's in for a hundred. And those, and those Dark Knights are uh, first prints. Yes, yep. they are. Absolutely, first print, baby, right out. 
Get Frank, and if yeah, Frank Miller does another signing, each of these things, man, this is nice. I have these these year ones um, sitting. Yeah, in my there's head. definitely some Alex Toth in uh, in in Mazzuchelli's year one artwork. I love I love Alex Toth too. <laughs> I love her Brooklyn. I got all three of those big hardcovers they did he they did for him. Uh, so yeah. I got a box I'm cutting open. I never even opened. There we go. Harley 105. You guys know the drill. The drill. Over 100. We got $5 increments. Harley, if you who I'm thinking you are, um, unfortunately, I already sent your box out. So, got to start, start a new one. So, $9 shipping. Sid, since you already have a lot, if you win this, um, Sits at 120. Farley goes to 125. Should be good. Absolute beautiful lot. Frank Miller goodness. Batman year one. Complete series 404 through 407. Batman Dark Knight issue three. And the big one, issue one, the first print. I, I I I seldomly see these out, especially for in the wild. I seldomly see them out. So you got a chance to have a decent lot, a good lot of good books, Batman. <laughs> only only DC lot I'm putting up tonight. This here is a nice again. You want me to cycle through them again? I can. 404 four through 407, Batman Year One. And you know what? Well, I don't have a full run of it. We're at 120. If we get to get to 140, give me, give me to 140. I will add these two in. These are Detective Comics, Batman Year Two, Part Two and Three. Yeah, that's Todd McFarlane on them. Oh, Todd it's Father, the Todd Father. So that's fifteen bucks more, almost a no-brainer. So that'd be one forty. These two would go come in. Yeah, and imagine if McFarlane would have stayed on Batman. What could have? What, where could that have gone? Yeah, I mean, McFarlane. I mean, like I said, I, I can't fault him for for going to Spider Man at all. I can't. I can't. No, no, I don't fault him. I'm just saying. Imagine, yeah. what if? Yeah, <clears throat> he did some great great art on Batman. All right, we're still at we're still at one forty five. Yeah, one twenty five with Farley. We still got sit in. Um, So, I'd say 140 get to those two uh, Batman year two. I got all excited when I saw Batman. I didn't set a timer, but it doesn't matter because we got multiple bidders. Um, but let us know, Sid. We have the option to bid or fold. At 140, two more books come in, the two, uh, two issues of year two. Yeah, you can't have a world without Venom. Venom is too important. Now, we could still get Venom. I mean, I'm just saying, if he would have done a little more Batman, it would have been cool. It would have been great. Yeah, it would have been absolutely yeah. great. So, sit at 130. Maybe we miss his Hulk run, but we get a, some awesome Batman. I don't know. Yeah. He's just one of those iconic artists who just, you know... For his generation, just absolutely, it's like Kirby of his generation. Just good stuff. So ten dollars more gets the other two Batman books in the Detective Comics That's year two issues. So there you go. Farley's in for one forty. 
All right, Farley's in at 140. So the year two's come in. So now we got a real sweet. Yes, you do, Matt Spidey. In the end, you win. I'll give you that. But we got an awesome Batman lot here. You got Batman by McFarlane, Batman by David Mazzuccelli, and Batman by Frank Miller. You know, this is a win-win-win. I mean, you know, now that not, 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 you mentioned it, this, that is some really good art. That's some really good art that they, they, they've done there. But, <clears throat> and again, first print, issue one, Dark Knight Returns. This is the thing that started it all. And issue three, also first print. Google Books. All right, Mr. Farley. Gets it at 140, so it's 149, Mr. Farley. Okay, said so folds. Let me drop an end line. If you are the same Farley that from before, just hit me on IG. Uh, so I just I know. If you are not, then hit me on IG so that way I can get your shipping information as well. 149 is your total, sir. I uh, thank you very much. Sweet, nice slot. It's uh, nice pickup, Farley. And I, I, everybody who's, you know, I definitely am seeing some new names. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the auction. Please sub me up. Hit that subscribe button. Gorilla, smash that thumbs up. And then please, please, please sub up all my members, including Shelby, HGM Law, French Quarter Comics, and Sands Group. That's right. Now, let's build the channel and build the community. That's right. Sounds like Cookie Man and I making that push to 250 subs each. So definitely go sub us up, help us out, help out the channel. We drop some great content, and we need your support. Definitely. And Maz is asking, does anyone still hold on a box by chance? Maz, I am. I got a slab for you, so you got some room for free shipping if you need any books from me. But if not, I'm going to get that slab out this week because I've been I've been sitting on it for a few weeks. And I've yeah. If you haven't gotten anything from me in about three weeks, then I probably am too. All right. I promise y'all some independence. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. This is for dollar independent time. Bunch of number ones, bunch of cool stuff. I'm going to start these first five books, $5. So you're going to get Terminator number one and number two. So this is the very first new stories after the first movie. Dark Horse Comics, uh, Terminator, number one and number two. First new stories in the Terminator universe by Dark Horse Comics right after the movie. Number one, number two. Then you're going to get a Savage Dragon versus Megaton Man. So you get not only Eric Larson art, but you get some great Don Simpson art, too, put together. Eric Larson and Don Simpson. Then Trencher, number one and number two. Keith Giffen. Writing and drawing. So if you don't have this in your life, you don't know what I'm talking about. Keith Giffen is an amazing artist. Some great Keith Giffen art. Starting these five books at $5. I'm going to have some in a minute, uh, Mad Spidey. So these five books right now starting. Like I said, you get that first brand new stories in the Terminator universe. Number one. Number two. Uh oh and then you get Savage Dragon um, and Megaton Man, Trencher number one, and number two, Keith Giffen Art. All right, go up to $10. These next five books come in. Xena Warrior Princess, number one, variant cover. Sacred Six, number six. This is the FOC bonus cover. Stake, number one, Scout Comics. Great stuff. I actually uh, read it. It's not a bad story. Negan Lives, number one, second print. And then Vengeance of Vampirella, number 15, that cool black and white cover. So those five books come in at $10. So Xena, Sacred Six, Stake, Negan Lives, and Vampirella. All right, $10 been hit. All right, I got something a little special for you. A little special. All right, and I'm not talking about 
other things. I'm talking about something just really neat. All right, y'all know Josh Middleton, right? Todd, you know Josh Middleton. Sure. You love his art, don't you? Yeah, some of it. Oh, come on. You love them bat Batgirl covers and stuff, man. That's some beautiful Josh Middleton art. How about his very first art in comic books? The very first Josh Middleton art in comic books. Meridian, number one, number two, and number three, $15. These three We're come in. Long. Very first Josh Middleton artwork in comics, Meridian, number one, number two, and number three, Josh Middleton art. So $15, that comes in. All right. You're at 15. We're at 15. So, With Josh. Then these next two come in at 20. Darker image, number one. Uh, should st yeah, still in the poly bag. And then Dynamite, number three. You get that Amazing Fantasy 15 homage cover. That is freaking awesome, isn't it, Todd? Pretty awesome. Thank you, sir. Is that the zombified version? That is the zombified Amazing yeah, Fantasy 15 extra uh, variant cover. So, yeah, it's very cool. Dynamite, number three. Shelby? So, I'm sorry, I couldn't tell. Was your dark image, was that a uh, newsy or no? Um, no, it's not. Okay. Uh, so that comes in. And then I'll uh, go ahead and these are the last three books that I was going to put in. Uh, that was at 20 And then at $30, I will throw in Angela, number one, number two, and number three. So, twenty. Josh comes in at twenty-five. So thirty dollars. Those come in, and that is your lot. So we're at twenty-five with Josh. Thirty brings in the three Angela books. Yep. So just yeah, right now five dollars, but it'd been ten dollars, and there that set goes for about twenty bucks. So. Terminator 1, number 2, Samus Dragon versus Megaton, Trencher number 1, number 2, Vampirella number 15, Xena, uh, Variant number 1, Secret 6, uh, FOC bonus book number 6, Stake number 1, Negan Lives number 1, Second Print, Meridian, First Josh Middleton artwork in comics. No, those are the only two I have, buddy. I thought, sorry. Uh, Meridian number one, number two, and number three. Darker Image, still in the poly bag. Dynamite, number three. Zombie, uh, a, a Amazing Fantasy 15 homage cover. And then some beautiful copies of Angela. Um, Todd McFarlane, no, it's, um, well, it's Todd McFarlane, but... Uh, name escapes me uh number one number two and number three all right so it's gonna bug me yeah that's what i thought greg capullo josh folds yeah greg capullo art some of his early art too right this is from 1994 so some very early Greg Capullo art um, before he started his run on Spawn. I think this was the job. Gonna I think Tim's going to take the lot down for 35. All right, Tim. Very yeah, good, sir. Fine. Great deal, my man. I appreciate you. Great lot. Okay. So one second here. Okay, you got what you need there. Let's uh, yep. get your stuff on the screen. Oh, yeah, Tim and I, we're buddies. Yep. Okay, we'll come back to me. Okay, so trying to find some books to kind of beef up the Super Chat a little bit. Because we like beef, Todd. Well, I got a couple of... Uh, 
No, these are cool. Loki's, we know Loki's hot right now, so I'm going to throw in a couple of Loki Agents of Asgard, number 15. And number 14, 14 and 15. Some cool Loki books. So remember, every dollar super chatted gets a dollar. Gets an, get Every one dollar super chatted gets your name on the wheel. So if you super chat three dollars, you get three your name three times. You do it ten times, you get ten names, whatever. So right now we got Cliffhanger Zero in for the giveaway books. We got Spider Man and Power Pack. These are some some promotional books. We got the New Teen Titans, Anti Drug Issue. And then we got a couple of Loki books, and then I'm gonna throw in. I'm going to throw in one of those Vampirella virgin covers that I showed before. And also the, to have the trade dress. So that's Vampirella 1992, a one-shot that came out. So you get the virgin and the trade. So you got the set in. So now we're up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books. In the uh, Super Chat giveaway. Uh, I might drop a dollar just get in on those Vampirellas. So a little something for everyone. Okay. Josh up. Rodriguez in the house. What up, J Rod? Josh Rodriguez is dropping the five dollar. Tim Kowalski, Josh Rodriguez. I see y'all going back and forth. Oh, Josh Foles. Gorilla, you got any extra Terminator? No, no, that was Shelby's lot. That was from Brian. Ah, got you. Yeah. yeah. I'm confused. There's a Josh Rodriguez Jr. and Senior in here. Is there? I don't know. I mean, was I messaging the right Josh Rodriguez earlier? That won my lot way back? I mean, I only know one Josh. Yeah, I only know one Josh, too, but I only see Senior. Okay, well, well, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out quick enough. Um, quick buy it now. Uh, I got Spawn 318, four, four covers. So I got the... I don't know. Guy with big big guns. The king is coming. Guy on a rooftop. Got this. This one looks pretty awesome. The detail on it. Well, they sent me money, so I guess it doesn't matter. Just get make sure you get the address from the same person. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. The black and white variant, you know, for for that guy. So if anybody wants a set, fifteen bucks, I got that for you. Okay, thank you to the sixty-seven people. You know, I don't know why I just I have a bunch of slabs. I should show them more often. Um, Got this Venom Hip Hop in a 9.8. I got that available for $250 shipped if anybody's interested. Pilsen Cabbage cover. $250 shipped. That is a beauty. Oh, what else do I got here? Got a Strange Academy number one. This is the second print. In a nine eight, I have that one for one twenty five shipped. The what I, the slab buy it now is how I shipped and insured for the price I'm saying. So if, like two fifty would be shipped and insured for the Venom, one twenty five shipped and insured for the Strange Academy. Uh, 
still got a couple of these Harley 75s. I got, I think, down to my last ones. This is the Jay Ancelotto cover. Harley 75 with Joker, Punchline, and Harley. 100 bucks on this guy. That's shipped and insured. And we got another version of 75 with, Har with uh, Harley on it. Playing with her little hammer keychain. Knocked that one out for $100 shipped. Pricier stuff. Got a um, Secret Wars, Marvel Superhero Secret Wars, Heroes Con 2015, Miles Morales cover, si triple signed by John BD, Jim Shooter, and Mike Zach, where he recreated a Secret Wars 8. Uh, classic, iconic, black. Spider-Man costume cover. This is a 9-8 signature series. I got that one for 400 And then if you want the original, I got Secret Wars 8 in a 9-6. I got that one available for 500 Again, that's shipped and insured. Um, if by chance somebody wanted the pair, I'll give you a sweet deal because 5 and 4 is 9 I'll knock, the, I'll knock off 100 bucks. Do it for 800 for both books. If somebody wants the pair. I, I think he recognizes you, Shelton. Yeah, I I'll recognize you. It's you just got confused. Yeah, but one, yeah, when you won the first lot, your name said Junior. And I sent an IG message. To the only Josh that I know, and they paid me. So I'm just making sure someone's not playing shenanigans around here. You know, we're always playing shenanigans. You know. So just making sure it was you and I that's been talking on IG. So tell no, me if it was on those Star Wars books. I, I get you, Sean, but you don't want to get catfished. I won't be catfished. I want to send someone else the wrong books or something. I mean, <laughs> you know, I actually did that this past week, man. Uh -oh. Yeah, I was uh -oh. copying and pasting on, from my Excel file, and it jumped a row on me. So I accidentally sent someone in Georgia their to their books to California. Uh oh, sounds like a pickle. Well, but luckily, that shows you how good the community was. The person that got the books reached out to me, said, hey, um, you know, this is my address, but someone else's name. Um, they forwarded the books on for, for me to the uh, correct person. So, you know, I don't, I'm not sure how many people would have spoke up and been honest about that. But this person was um, Collector's Den. Um, uh, all right, Josh. All right, just making sure that it was you, you and I that was just say yes. You and I were the ones talking. <laughs> um, okay. Um, I got. But another. it's Collector's Den. So Collector Den, you know, shout out to him for being honest that I sent someone else's books to him and he forwarded that on for me. So I appreciate it. Nice, Shelby. Good story. Always good to hear about good things happening in the community. So I got a little bit of a different buy it now. I got Ooh. it's it's a mid grade. It's not a perfect mint book. There's some stuff going down here, wrinkles or whatever. But it's it's a nice solid copy of Gru's first issue there from Pacific Comics. Yeah. And then I got number two. It's got a few few spine ticks you know not perfect if somebody wants to pair of books i'll knock them out for 20 bucks which is a pretty good price grew grew by its, this one go by itself usually goes for a little more than that so 20 dollars for the pair of grew books if somebody's interested i know grew is kind of like a an acquired taste 
but hilarious stuff. Josh Rodriguez. Josh is a man of good taste. Oh, I collected the Epic series, yeah, when it came out. I mean, that was some good stuff. Uh, Gru's got a, you know, Gru's got its, 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 its fan base. I don't know. It's, it's cool. Oh, there's those bags and boards I was looking for. I just found them. So, how about we just go with two awesome Wonder Woman books with Adam Hughes covers? Got Wonder Woman 172, Superman holding Wonder Woman, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. another beautiful. Adam Hughes cover. Isn't she doing cutting herself? Uh, she cut her? I don't know. It says new blood. Maybe she didn't have her bracelets on, and oh. you know, she's bleeding on both these covers. No, no, that's her cape. Is she bleeding? I don't know. But uh, I don't know. We'll start these two books. These two Adam Hughes off at five bucks. And go from there. So we got shallow in at five. Let's see. Thanks, Card Shop Reality, with the $5 Super Chat. We got Sean Richards in first at five. Custodian Ken's in at six. Shallow's in at 10. Sean's in at 15. Um, I have some other pretty good DC stuff I can build with. Wow. We got some Teen Titans. So if anybody, if you guys are interested, I can have some Teen Titans books. I can bring in some Deathstroke appearances. In the annual. Yeah, that I... I, I feel the same way French Porter is, uh, I was going to suggest that is sometimes I just go ahead and use Amazon. It's a little more expensive, but um, I've had good luck getting stuff in fast to get yourself out of that bind of needing bags and boards. Then I got a copy of Stars and Stripes Zero. This is the first appearance of Courtney Whitmore, Star Girl. She's the character on the TV show. Not a bad TV show. It's got it's got a tick uh, right there. You know, it's just a tickle. Got a tick. If somebody wants this, I'd let it go for forty bucks. You can see what this book is. People are asking for this book on eBay. I think that's a fair, fair price for the book. Let's see. We got Sean Richards with the high bid. Looks like we're going to drop an end line. A 
wait, wait, wait a minute. Let's see. Shallow folded, Teresa folded, Custodian Ken. Yeah, everybody folds. So those are yours, Sean. There's the end line. Sean, I may have some books for you, and if I do, um, I think your shipping is covered. Let me check, and Sean, let me check and hit you back tomorrow. Because by the time the auction's over, it'll be it'll be late. But let me hit you back tomorrow and let you know where we're at as far as shipping. Okay. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, thanks, Sean. I appreciate that. And like, if anybody's interested in that. You know, the first star girl, let me know. We'll move over to Sans. What is up, ladies and gents? Nice lot there, Gorilla Todd. Nice lot, my brother. I see everybody shining. I love it. I love it. All right, ladies and gents. Um, $10 polls are done. And guess what? I went back and checked the videotape. Teresa was the only one who bought from the $10 poll. So... Teresa, this is going out to you. No need for a raffle. You got the 9-6 signed by Capullo. That is in your box, my friend. Thank you so much for your polls tonight. We still have the $5 raffle. $5 polls, I mean. Inside there is a slab for Disney Comics number three. Uh, number one, this is the Goofy Virgin, limited to 666. This is available in there along with an indie lot, ladies and gents. An indie lot, you can get six for 25 or 12 for 50. So just let me know if you're interested in that. Buy it now for this round. We got Amazing Spider Man number 300. This is CGC 9.6, white pages. That, my friend, would be twenty-four seventy-five shipped and insured. Shipped and insured. White pages. And it is the second generation label with a chance. With a chance, ladies and gentlemen. So, twenty-four seventy-five shipped and insured if you're interested right there. All right, this round we are going to do some Spider Man. I'll get us started. And Sean, I do see you want 12 for 50, my friend. We got some Spidey. We're going to start this off at $60. $60, ladies and gents. $60. We'll get started with the Miles Morales comic Halloween Fest number zero. This is the reprint of Ultimate. Ball we got 50th issue anniversary of Spider-Man number 50. We got the spectacular Spider-Man 226 at last, the one true spider revealed. We got amazing Spider-Man 800, nice goblin and Spidey variant cover, black suit Spidey on the cover. And we have a Gleason Carnage Virgin cover. This is your webhead Gleason Carnage. We start that bidding off at sixty dollars, ladies and gents. Sixty dollars starting line coming in. All right, Sean. Let me get your twelve. One, two, three, four. All right. Once again, the lot that's up, you have Webhead right there. You have Ultimate Fallout, Spidey 50, 
Spectacular Spider-Man 226 with Scarlet Spider. Amazing Spider-Man 800. That's your big book right there, ladies and gents. All right, let me show Sean his 10, excuse me, his 12. All right, Sean, you have a Boba cover. Nice. You have Spider-Man Generations number one, Peter Parker. Okay. War of the Realms, Guardians of the Galaxy number three. Marvel Incoming, number one, a variant cover. You got Helm Greycastle, number two. You got DC Rebirth, this is number one. You got Coffin Bound. Um, Coffin Bound, number one. And Coffin Bound, number one and number two, my brother. You got the Invincible Iron Man, five ninety nine. You got X Factor, number one. V Wars, number one. Infinity War Prime, number one. Batman fifty. Thank you so much. All right. Oh, Teresa wants twelve fifty. Teresa, I got you once again. That's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, no one fell, Tim, seeing stuff. Something fell off my desk. My little USB charger oh. port. Ten. 11 and 12. All right, once again, this is up right now, $60. Just cycle through it. Starting line on the screen for you. Anyone is interested. Webhead is still going 50 plus. You got your reprint there. Let me show Teresa her book. Yeah, definitely. <sighs> All right, Teresa, you have. A Hit Girl issue number one. Planet of the Symbiotes number two. Venom 28. You have the uh, Champions a number 26. Uncanny X Men variant. You have Batman 93. Batman number 11. DC. You got Ghost Spider, Alone in Murder World, number one. Amazing Spider-Man 800. Radiant Black, number two. Batman, number 14. Mm. New Avengers, West Coast, number four. I think you got that one earlier. Teresa, confirm if you got this one early. I'll pull another one for you. I'm pretty sure she did. Yep. Candy lots. Candy lots. All right, Teresa, let me show you your ending. You got Ha Ha Ultra Roll. And an out of body number one. Thank you so much, Teresa. Yep, a nice new poll, by the way. <laughs> nice new poll. All right, ladies and gents, just let me know if you need anything. There's still a slab in there, still a slab. You got 30 seconds left if anybody's interested in the auction lot. Carnage. Got the Halloween Fest. Miles Morales. You got the number 50. You got the 226. 800. All right. Sean Morris wants five, six more polls. I got you, Sean. One. Two. Three. Four. 
I'm gonna drop an inline on the auction. You can show those. All right. Let's see what you got, Sean. You got uh, Spider Man number six. You got that amp number one. You got Artemis number one. Vampirella. This is Vengeance of Vampirella. The half. This is the Wizard half. You got Thane Carnage Eyes, Thano number four. And Guardians of the Galaxy number one. Thank you so much, Sean. All right. I will see you guys next time. I really want six, six oh. gold to 25. Ah, I got you. One. Two. Three, four, five, six. All right, Pop. You got a turtle, City at War, number 99. Infinity Countdown, number two. Captain Marvel, number 27. Moonshine, number one. Bitterroot, number six. And you got a Black Panther versus Deadpool number four. Thank you very much. All right, guys, we got about 10 pulls left. 10 pulls left. That will close out the box. Awesome. We're going to move over to French Quarter Comics. Thank you, Sands. Thank you, my friend. All right, thank you, Sands. Uh, really fresh, but they're killing it lately. We have a lot of different covers. Um, number two. How, Ken, how far are you away from your microphone? Too far, apparently. Can you hear me now? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've been told that I, I tend to not speak up as loudly as I need to. Yeah, we can't. We can't really hear you good. You gotta get. You gotta get that microphone. Yeah, I don't know what's up with it. It's for some reason I'm having trouble today. Mm -hmm. uh, Anyway, uh, Rose Besh has been killing it lately on a lot of different covers. That's Silk Number Two, especially uh, one of the biggest ones in the spring. Uh, so to buy it now, I've got some other Rose Besh uh, goodness. Uh, first is Vampirella 19, the Rose Besh uh, cover. Uh, that is 35 ship. Beautiful Rose Besh take on Vampirella. I've also got. Miles Morales 26, the Rose Bash set. Uh, I'm selling this as a set, $70 ship. Same basic price, but you take both of them. You get the great Gwen, Spider Gwen, and get the amazing Miles Morales look. So those are $70 for the pair. Vampirella's $35 by yourself ship. Uh, for the auction round, this is going to be a builder lot. Starting line is, uh, we'll start it at 20 bucks. Uh, it's a Falcon lot. We start with Marvel Premiere 49, which is the first full length solo adventure for Falcon. And you get the Falcon mini series, his first solo series. You get issues one, two, three and the conclusion four so we'll start this at 20 bucks then there's some bigger books that are going to come in once we get this going a little bit but first let's get an opening bid of 20 here okay teresa i see your request i have uh one last uh, set of 12 in there you got it my friend i will pull those for you next round Ladies and gents, that one through four on this, this is a beautiful lot right here. Addition on these is all uh, really nice. Of course, we know what a big role Sam Wilson is now playing in the MCU. Going forward is the new Captain America. I've got uh, thousand for twenty. 
All right, shall we? Starting us off at 20. Oh, where we're going next. Um, all right, so we're in at 20. Shall if we get to 60, we can add in Captain America 200, the special bicentennial issue, one of the best Jack Kirby covers ever. Stands in 25. This will come in at 60. Beautiful classic Kirby in the Falcon cover. It is a new stand. Really, really nice condition on this one. That comes in at 60. Shows in at 60. All right. We will continue building then. And so this next one is Biggie. Um, if we go to 150, we'll add in the third appearance of Falcon, Captain America 119. Captain Falcon defeat the Red Skull. This is Sam Wilson as Falcon's third appearance. He debuted in 117, he was in 118, and here he is in 119. Oh, that was a quick timer after the last round. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter, you got multiple bidders, so. Okay. You're not really under the purview of the, it's really just a guide. Okay. I didn't know if I was hooked up stage. <laughs> no, nah, nah, I don't. I don't run it like that, man. You'll see. You'll see. I keep it kind of. It's it's loose, man. And if if you're building, I'm not gonna stop you from. Okay, no problem. No problem. You know what I'm saying. So this would come in at 150. If you're interested, shallow or sand. So sands fold. Shallow saying they're good at 60. All right. I'm gonna give one more option. Um, if you want to go to 90, got a near mint plus Sam Wilson, Captain America 5. And yeah, Roman Curtison at 65. This is introducing the new Falcon, Joaquin Torres. So this can come in at 90. You know, hey Roman, I've been meaning to message you. I think I have some Star Wars books for you. I gotta, I gotta ask you about. I gotta write myself a note because now that I've seen it, it reminds me. This is a tough cover. It's all black. Tough to get a nine eight. This one, I think, would be a candidate for sure. No noticeable flaws whatsoever on it. You've seen Joaquin Torres already get introduced into the MCU and Captain Winter Soldier. We saw Sam Wilson basically leave the Falcon gear to, to him. And certainly in Captain America 4, we're likely to see Joaquin. Okay, so Roman bid 65, shallow folded. So I'm going to drop the end line as we're down to a single bidder. All right, Roman, just let me know if you want to add this. Uh, it would be at 90. Or if you want to add the third character for Falcon. That would be, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I could add this one in at uh, one third. Do that. Or if you want both, uh, that would be. I would do it. i would do everything for 200 if you want to go. All right, so just let me know, Roman, and uh, we'll be in touch. Awesome. Okay. We'll move over to Lawman. What's up?
It's hey, here. How many more rounds are we doing? I don't know. I feel like we're going good. Um, there's okay. 60 people watching. All right. I mean, nobody's under a contract for anything, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. So, you know, you watch all these videos, these people dropping their, their channels, and they're saying that the first appearance is too pricey. Then you need to go for the second or third appearance. So for those of you that can't afford an Amazing Spider-Man 129, first appearance of Punisher, you've got Amazing Spider-Man 135. Consider the second full appearance of Punisher. And we also have Giant Size Spider-Man number four, the third appearance of Punisher. We'll start these two off. At 125. You have a chance to get some good, uh, I want to say Copper Age goodness. Second appearance of Punisher in high grade. Really good copy. Uh, Tracy, you ask, how would you pay? How would you pay if you win an auction? Uh, most of us accept a number of payment options: PayPal, uh, Cash App, Venmo. You know. It, depends on seller by seller but generally at least one or two of those options so again the second appearance second to the second full appearance of punisher and the third appearance of punisher spider-man 135 and giant size number four Nice chance to get some more. I want to say some good. This is good minor keys. Some good minor keys. Some good Definitely books. early Punisher appearances. That first appearance yeah. has, has exploded recently. Absolutely. Well, here's a chance to get get in a good price. One twenty five gets you both. Really nice books. And you get a chance to have them. It's nice my light goodness. And they do look nice. Uh, I'm going to give it a good mid grade on the third. You take to a good clean and press. Biggest thing you've got, you got some uh, creasing there. Um, and along the spine. So. I mean, it's certainly not, it's not, this is a much better grade than the third, but, you know, the third doesn't come up that often, so that's why I say good, I want to say seven, eight, eight, five on this one with a good cleaning press. This would probably get a decent five to six. But in my effort to try to Yeah, um, it is not because, well, the guy I got it from said it was not a Mark Jewel. Um, he's a Marine, so I'm going to kind of take his word for it. But if it is, hey, you know, that, uh, oh, hey, card shop. Yeah, I just sent your box out. Uh it's quite heavy, but it's out with all your stuff in it. So, you know. Again, second and third full appearances of the Punisher. 125 starting bid. Okay, we got about a minute and 20 seconds left on the timer. This is a nice, nice lot. Yeah, I mean, you know, that thing's about six, seven pounds when I, when I, had those three slabs plus your other books in it. Like, hey, with the padding and stuff, that was a pretty hefty, hefty box. All right, you got Tracy in at 125. Yeah, you know. Second, so we got Jaden Buckholtz in at 140. 
140. Tracy at 145. And of course, it'd be $9 shipping on, 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 on the lot. Very nice pickup. Anyone who gets it. Nice Spider Man key. You got Tarantula, Mary Jane, Punisher, Osborne, and J. Jonah Jameson. Parker! All right, Jade Buckle to 150. 150. Uh, Tracy. Tracy swings in 175. Hey, um, HDM, check your IG, please. <coughs> as soon as you can, if possible. Okay. Jaden's at 185. Tracy's at 200. We do five dollar increments over a hundred, Jaden. There you go. So what we will do is whoever wins the lot, like so we asked that if you if you knew to the auction, we asked that you pay immediately. So we make sure that we that we get your payment. I do PayPal and Zelle, my information there on the, on the email. And then once I get your payment, what plus the shipping? Uh, I'll let you know you be, be accepted. Part of the part of the comic community, all will be great. Trying to make sure we get, uh, you know, make sure everything is all great and gravy. All right. Yeah, we appreciate all you new uh, new visitors. This is uh, fantastic for you guys to be in. But again, like HGM said. This is your first time on the auction. We will need you to pay immediately. And uh, don't take anything personal, um, Tracy or Jay. We just have not seen either of you um, before. And so uh, that's important that we get to know you. But once you pay, welcome to the family. We appreciate you. Yeah, see, so, you know, I. I Unfortunately, I got. I got to tell you, Jaden, this is this is way, way out of the value for these books. I appreciate the bid. Um, okay, so, we got some trolls in here now. I mean, it looking like we're we're, we're trying to uh, do some stuff. So yeah, yeah, we got some trolls going. Might need to go back down to the more reasonable bids. Yeah, uh, they're the only ones that bid, so that. What well, from the beginning? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. it, was, it was that Tracy and Jaden. The whole. Well, okay. Yeah, she jumped from like two twenty, two, two fifty to three twenty five. That I don't know. Well, like I say, I mean, if you know, like I said, we, we we are concerned, but if if it is legit, then whoever wins it, please just go ahead and like I say, uh, pay immediately so we can accept you. Uh, but to answer Caesar's question. If you go on GPA, well, I've, I go on GPA. GPA usually will separate out the Mark Jeweler insert and add the value to that for the book. Um, so the certain books that you have, that they'll, they'll have that out. So that'll tell you usually about anywhere between eighty-five to one hundred fifty dollars increase. So that's. Uh, Mm 
So, well, I guess if nobody's interested, then, you know, we'll continue on. Uh, I mean, this was the last bid. Yeah, that's obviously not for real. It's just people trying to disrupt the auction, whatever. So, okay. All right. We shall continue on. I appreciate the interest. But what, what I'd say, if if you are serious, Aiden or Tracy, please. Aiden, Buckholz, Tracy. Let them know if you're serious. Hit me on IG and we can continue. Uh, we can go ahead and take care of it. But, uh, you know, my IG is in, in, in information. So do that and greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. You want to auction something else, HGM? Okay. You should, well, I'll do, I'll, you should I'll, lose I'll, return because of trolls. I can calm it down a little bit. I won't do too great. As Got a Thor lot here I'm going to do. I'm going to start at $10. So we have Thor, $249, $296, $299. Three sixty-nine, and the first appearance of Stonebreaker in a newsstand. Three seventy-two. Okay, some good, good four books. These we price ten dollars with the minor key. Of the first appearance of Stonebreaker and Thor 372. 372. Starting line $10. In the starting bid. $10 starting bid. If there's anything that you guys decide that you want, let us know. If you have it, we'll gladly try to be, make it available to you. So we got some cool Thor books for 10 bucks. Starting bid. To all of you who are here legitimately watching a comic book auction, whether it's to buy, bid, claim, or just hang out and have fun, I, I and the panel appreciate every single one of you. Some people want to run shenanigans. Whatever. You know, Saturday night, they have nothing else to do. You know. I, you know, I was reading about how another auction shut down early because they were getting a lot of trouble in the chat from, from trolls, so... So it's part of the territory. These kids today are just too lazy to go out and toilet paper houses on a Saturday night. <laughs> no, you know, they'd have to get get out away from their keyboards. We got Farley in for ten bucks. Farley in at ten. Now, Farley, if you get this, you're going to have to increase your shipping amount just by six bucks because we're going to put you into a medium. But, you know, the lovely Batman lot, but hey, it's all right. Okay. All right. So, Farley, I'll include the. So, you were you, you a witness to their trolls doing that the other night? Yeah, it's nonsense. That's when I told HGM to check his IG. I was just preparing him. <laughs> I, I kind of felt it. 
Well, you can tell once they once they once they went over value that it's like okay. Yeah, yeah, but I can even tell just from. Well, honestly, I've heard I've seen a troll use that same language. You when the one wrote, "Ooh, I need that." I've yeah. seen a troll yeah. use that same language before, so they're not even original. <laughs> <laughs> they can't even come up with an original plot. Making it they're obvious. Making it obvious. All right, thank you, Farley. Put that with the rest of your stack. Sweet. Appreciate nice you. Yes, yes. But, you know, we win by keeping the auction going and keeping books in the people's hands. Yep. And now it's your turn, Shelby. Talk All right. Me. Yeah, sorry about that, HGM, man. That, that's just... That's uh, fine. You know, it is what it is. I'll, 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 I'll save it for another day. Exactly. Not any problem. All right. Um... Hey, I got some good books here. Uh, some good Lady Death, uh, some late 90s uh, goodness you don't come across very often. I'm going to start this out at an affordable $3 a book. So I've got um, one second. I meant to have this up, but I was doing something else. Um. <clears throat> What's up? You good? Yeah. Sorry. Someone's buzzing my phone. Um, all right. So I'm going to start this at $40. All right. Nice big stack of books here. So $40. Later, $40. Um, all Oh, no, no. Uh, sorry, that was my only one, and I found it in a box today. Moonbase, I apologize. Uh, sorry about that. What's up, Eddie the Comic Guy? Thanks for hanging out while you're drawing. So I didn't even realize that was um, a number one until I glanced a little closer. For some reason, I was thinking it was like a number five or number six. So I, it surprised me as a number one. Yes, Galactus over there, freaking... Seven hundred dollar statue. Um, I as big as your head. On that one, huh? Galactus is as big as your head. Galactus is is freaking like it's crazy oh. big. It's crazy big. Yeah. Um, forty dollars. So Lady F number six, number seven, number eight, and so yeah. I know Todd helped me forward. So these are Mike Delgado covers Mark, Mike Deldano and now this starts the Hughes run Stephen Hughes. Stephen Hughes run so number 9 number 10 number 11 number 12 number 13 Stephen Hughes run was first just to be clear huh he, he, Stephen Hughes is the original artist on Lady Death oh and then it switched to this Mike guy for a little while yeah and then back to Stephen Hughes. Who, who's the first one's published by? Well, it's all the run of chaos. Okay. Yeah, it's a complete. It's a it's a run from number six to, I think number sixteen, fifteen. Um, they might have done different volumes. You may want to just. I don't know. It doesn't nah, make any difference. No, nah, I've checked it. I've checked it. It's all the same volume. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, Stephen Hughes was, was he was an awesome artist, man. It was sad yeah. guy. So number 14, number 15, and then you get this really cool Lady Death and the Women of Chaos Gallery, number one. And then you get this great Hughes Lady Death um one shot. And then you get Lady Death one half, uh, which yes. is the wizard. So you have that still in the original wizard bag and stuff so but yeah cool 13 issue run um hard to find these and you know high grade and stuff uh yes you may you sure may shallow josh is in at 40 for the lot so, uh spawn 300 signed by uh, j scott campbell um, you're picking that up shallow. Thank you, sir.
I'll send you a message here in a moment. So really great run. Um, these usually go for about $5 or so each when you find them uh, to find a whole complete kind of run like this. Number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then you get that Women of Chaos Gallery, which is really cool, that cool painted cover. Then you get the one shot, um, things like a Halloween special or something of Hughes. That's a cool little one shot. And then, of course, the Lady Death one half uh, with the wizard uh, certificate and still in the wizard bag, which is kind of weird because um, these things always snap off and this one snapped off and I taped it. But I couldn't find a bag that I could slip it into, so I went and left it in the wizard bag. Josh, we're going to get a great deal here. Usually these, usually have a couple of bidders on things like this. A nice run. Six, seven. Got about 30 seconds left on the timer. Eight. Look at that. Nine. That first Hughes stuff. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then the Women of Chaos. The things that things a Halloween special one shot. And then the Lady Death one half. All right, Josh. Very cool, sir. Okay, so Josh is going to grab that lot for 40. Nice pickup, Josh. Yeah. Um, all right, so message me. Thank you. <laughs> Make sure I got the right Josh. You got the right Josh. Josh, is Josh the first lot he bought, it said Junior in his name. Yeah. I could have swore. I think you're imagining things. I might have been. It was early. And now it's late. <laughs> nice pickup, Josh. You good, Shelby? Yeah, shall I message you here in a second, too? Okay. Thank you to the 60 people we still got watching. Um, 60? Oh, my God. Four hours, 60 people still. Y'all are some, y'all are some sick, lonely people still be watching. Hey, hey, don't insult the people who are watching. I I mean, do, I'm not insulting. There are people. We oh. got some Vampirella, Virgin and Trade from Vampirella 1992. I'll tell you guys a secret. That was the year I graduated high school. Young. <laughs> Young. So got that in the Super Chat giveaway. A couple issues of Loki. He's got his TV show coming out, so you can win those. That's and right. Coming out this Wednesday. Number Zero with Art from J. Scott Campbell, Joe Madaria, and Umberto Ramos. Ramos, so you got that. Cliffhanger Zero sketchbook. We got some promo books, Spider-Man and Power Pack, um, New Teen Titans. Uh, yeah, I, I got you guys. You, should, you know, it's you know, it's, it's okay. It gets a little cranky, but we we still keep our Shelby around. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, that takes us back to that. So. Yeah, you're. Uh, we got. I'll tell you who's in. We got Teresa Newell's in. Papa Wheelie's in. Tim Singh stuff is in. Shallow Comics is in. Joshua Rodriguez is in. Card Shop Reality is in. So awesome, General Jedi. Well, we're happy you can get some entertainment. Um, that's that's good stuff. So 
every super chat, every one dollar super chat, he gets you an entry in to win. You know, I'll also do a consolation spin for some gorilla bucks. Um, if I get a couple more super chats, I'll throw some more books in the pile. Um, it's up to you guys. Uh, I got a big, uh, I'm just going to throw this out there. I got one. I got issues, a Submariner, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, which that's a first Stingray. Uh, 21, 22 with Dr. Strange. And then uh, 23, first Orca. And then 25, where somebody declares his revenge. Uh, it's one, two, three. Here, let me just show you what they are. 11, the awesome um, crosshair cover. 12, and whatever that guy is. <laughs> 13, death shall not die. Uh, 15, the lowest grade of the bunch. They're like mid grade books. This is this one's the lowest grade. Somebody wrote on the Submariner. They couldn't resist those yellow letters. Some of them are decent. They're not. They're not destroyed. They're just you know they have wear. Sixteen. Seventeen. From the stars, the stalker. Eighteen. Somebody washed up on a beach. And then this one, nineteen. This is probably the biggest book of the lot. The first appearance of Stingray. Cool issue. Uh, 21. Just subby tearing it up. 22 with Str Dr. Strange. And that goofy um, costume. Yeah, that, he had that mask. 23. First appearance of Orca. How do you stop a human killer whale? And then 25. Um... I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this as a bin for one fifty, for the whole lot. Mm. Fifty dollars, buy it now. Knock out your almost whole collection of subby there. Eh, it's a seventy something issue run, but this is a nice chunk. Oh no, I got the whole set. If anybody wants this for one fifty, one fifty. That's the. Stack up twelve for yeah. something. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, the Mad Spidey's gonna go ahead and take that. Yeah, that's a smart buy, man. You About got it, Mad Spidey. Yeah, ten dollars a book for fifteen cents. Uh, it's twelve bucks for one fifty. It's a little more than ten, but with that that Stingray book's like a thirty to forty dollar book by itself. You know, and then there's there's enough. Yeah, yeah. sorry, Shallows. Uh, Spidey beat you to the punch. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you at, General Jedi? You said you're on the other side of the globe. Where are you at? Because he said it's lunchtime where he's at. Yeah, he's watching the swabs having lunch. Tell you what, I got one more buy it now. I got eight Doctor Stranges. Um, probably in the like VF minus range to like good range. Really, I see one book that's really low, and the rest are pretty decent. We're going to be fine, they're very fine. But I'll show you what this is. We'll do another buy it now. I'll show the books and then I'll say the price. So that's. So try to be as as fair as, you know, to the fastest thumbs, may the spoils go. Yeah, General Jedi's in China. We got Welcome, buddy. Doctor Strange number 11. Oh, love that Gene Cohen art. Yeah, all those different versions of Doc. Surgeon, the mask. So you got 11, you got 12. This is an awesome, lowest grade book, but still an awesome cover. A skeleton of Doc, just because this that that staple's a little janky. 
So you got 12, uh, you got 17, Doctor Strange and Clea versus some sorcerers that travel through time. Yeah. Well, I hope you've, you've been staying safe. Wait a minute. Go back, Todd. Go back to that other one. I think that's the issue, isn't it? Is that the issue? That's the issue. Where, is Where Clea sleeps with Ben Franklin behind Doctor Strange's back. Okay, glad we know that. Her Ben was kind of a freak. Doctor Strange number 19. Doc versus a bunch of skeletons. Can't beat that. Yeah. Hope you've been staying safe there, Ge uh, General Jedi. We'll be glad to have you back in the States, man. Doctor, definitely. Awesome nightmare bites. Welcome to the to the auction. Welcome to my channel. Please sub me up, sub all the panelists up. We try to grow the community. You know, good, solid, fun comic book appreciation. That's what it's about. That's right. Welcome to family. Whoa, whoa. Dr. Strange 23, and we'll get you entered to the super chat. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, 27. Doctor Strange goodness, twenty nine, with a uh, Bruno Frank Bruno cover with Nighthawk. He who stalks, and then thirty a gathering of fear. Another cool Frank Bruno cover. So let's see, we got two, four, six, eight books. We'll call it fifty dollars. Buy it now for the eight Doctor Stranges. Yep, Ben Franklin macking up on Clea behind Doctor Strange's back and ended up. Thank you, Teresa, for the extra five another five dollars super chat. So ended if everybody wants cool. Doctor Strange's little Spidey's gonna grab that one too. You can't keep Mad Spidey between some good, good classic Marvel. Okay, my good. Uh, we're really loading up the pallet. So, how how many comics can you fit in a in in a kangaroo pouch there in Australia? I don't know. So they should stay safe and warm. I would guess moist too. I just imagine it's moist in there. Yeah, maybe. Okay. You got it, man. Spidey, glad I'm able to hook you up with some good books for your collection. Let me and write down an amazing this. collection of original art and stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh my good. god. We got nightmare bites. For five bucks. Oh, what am I doing that? I got right over there. Silly Todd. Nightmare Bites. Five. Teresa Newell. I'm just going to mark yours up to ten. Beauty of working in pencil. Depends on, depends on the size of species of kangaroos. Yeah, I saw that. Okay. Well, hey, a little, little, little life science. It is. Nothing wrong with that. It is. I didn't know there was different species of kangaroo. I thought it's just like one. I thought there might have been like the Winnie the Pooh kangaroo species, and then Australia. That is it. Oh, you got your wallabies. Okay. Uh, got one last, one last buy it now. I got uh, Astonishing Tales featuring Kazar and Doctor Doom. Uh, these are going to be mid to low grade. Um, hey, Jim Law coming out. So I knew the red. I knew red. <laughs> kangaroos. Hey, uh, Jim Law coming out with some kangaroo knowledge. Kazar and Doom. Astonishing Tales number one. Ugh, that's a great one. Number two. Ugh. Number three. Mm. 
That's an awesome. I love the bottom cover of the Kazar. <laughs> Four. And we have number five. Oh, look at that. Doom fighting the Red Skull. Oh. So I'll do these. I can do these five books. Uh, $75 buy it now. For oh, another chance, buy. card shop. Hurry for Mad Spidey types it in. $75. Buy it now. One through five. Astonishing Tales featuring Dr. Doom and Kazar. Yeah, great deal. I got I got a um You got a card shop rea reality seventy five, you got it. Yep. I got card my shop. number one CGC at a nine point two. Card shop restocks his inventory on our, on, on 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 these auctions, man. Hey card shops. Hey he knows what he's you, doing. Know, you know he was a customer from customer of mine, he's like ten years old back in the late eighties. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, you a card shop. You got one through five for seventy-five. Nice, nice run, nice run of books. So, yeah, Shelby, remember the, uh, the show Mutual Loan House Wild Kingdom? I do. I remember that show. Yeah, Marlon Perkins. Yeah, Marlon Perkins. Yes, sir. That's where I get all my little animal knowledge. Oh. Well, yeah, back. I don't remember any of them, but I remember watching them. I don't remember them showing us more than one species of kangaroo. Let's see. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well, is that, wasn't it, was it an Eddie Murphy routine? Like, Mar Marlin's, like, uh, getting all the animals, like, doped up from shooting them with tranquilizers, and now there's, like, a whole bunch of, you know, Addicted animals out there. Like, where's Marlon? Where's Marlon, man? Come on, come on, new my fix. Where's Marlon? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, see what happens now. We're talking about and it's Phil, 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 full space, man. I, I'm sorry. I, no, I, I'm just trying to understand. I just, I, I missed the part of it. And I mean, you just go. It wasn't like judge. It wasn't like a judgmental. It was like I'm trying to understand. I'm searching for meaning. Um, Teresa, you get you picked up the number one of this, and I just happened from from uh Sands and today I just happened to pick up two through eight, which is the rest of the series one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, Teresa, if you want these seven books to complete your set, uh, I'll do it for like 10 bucks. That's Oof. that's that's pretty much uh, that, that, that is hard. a yeah, that's that a is cool deal. Deal. for sure. Seven, eight. Yeah, because I mean, I can find a number one. They're not impossible to find. You know, let me know if you're if you're interested in that two through eight because I know you have that number one coming when I complete the set, right? Yeah, that's true. Came on after the cartoons. She said, "Deal, deal." You got it, Teresa. I'll put your name on that. I tried. It was, you know, it was luck that I picked up two through eight. <laughs> I probably have a, a number one somewhere, but I don't care. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Yeah. Teresa, she said yes, right? Oh, easy. And I always try to take care of you guys. You know that. Right. Ten bucks. Might as well have the whole set. Right, Shelby? I agree. That's I picked up offset from you. Came beats on a bill and cabbage. Okay, well, I got where'd it go? Where'd it go? Uh, stop playing games with me, books. Is that silence again, Todd? You don't know what's going to be coming out? Yeah, no, I, I don't have anything crazy. I'm just. I need the one more book for the for this set. It's just how did it get separated? I don't know. Where did it go? It's just a Hulk book. It's a cool read. Uh, 
Oh, that's getting bad. Okay. I just miss it in here. Maybe I'll come back to that next round. I can't find it this round. Well, what do I have handy? Yeah, Instead of being a 60 book lot, he's only got to make a 50 book lot. <laughs> well, I got the rest of these stores. I only sold 10 of them last time. <laughs> <laughs> so now I got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So I got I'll tell you what, I'll start it at fifteen bucks for the whole lot. So it's less than a dollar a book. And I'll show you the books as we go. Okay, we got Thor 8, introducing Tenerus, then we got number 15, with an awesome, this is a Walt Simonson cover, got that one, 16, another awesome Walt Simonson cover, 17, Another awesome Simonson cover. Sweet. That's from the Matt Fraction. What's up, Snatch Face? We got number 18 with Alan Davis artwork. Beautiful stuff. Number 19. Number 20. This is from the Matt Fraction run. We got car shopping for 15. We got 21. Thor versus Suter. Awesome cover. Look at that. Love that. Then we got 22. And we go a little bit all over the place, but there's some nice books. I'm going to save that to the end. 616. Issue 616. 615, 613, man, this is a beautiful Miko Saiyan cover, look at that, awesome, this is a nice lot, then we got this one, from the same artist, Miko Saiyan, we got number 605, a Phil Tan cover, This is the auction tree, so it's starting at 15. You can bid. We got 604. Uh, and I got this random old issue, 415. And then one of my favorites. Got an awesome Thor 30 Beta Ray Bill cover. Got Papa Wheelie in at 16. Let me just reset that. And then we got two of the my favorite Thor covers by Barry Windsor Smith. 38 and 39. Nothing like a Barry Windsor Smith Thor cover to, you know. We got some Eco Science and Walt Simonson, some Barry Windsor Smith. We got a card shop at 17. I count wrong. Let's see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 books. 
Well, Papa Wheelie's in at 20. Card shops at 22. Beautiful cover, man. So, so awesome. I got Papa Wheelie in at 25. Car Chops at 27. So you guys are still in good shape because you won't hit two dollars a book till you get to thirty six. So you're still less than two dollars a book, which is pretty. Twenty eight and a baby wipe. Well, thanks for the baby wipe. You never know when they may come in handy. Car shops in at thirty. Clean Papa Wheelie thirty two car card shops at thirty three. Chunky, chunky Thor lot. You got some artistic greats in there. Brian Windsor Smith, Miko Sayan. <laughs> there you go, Papa Willie. Walt Simonson. Okay, so Papa Willie folds. Looks like Card Shop Reality is going to take this down. Let me drop the old end line. You two the whole way. Yep. So you got it in under $2 a book, Card Shop. Nice pickup. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Let's move over to Sands. What's up, ladies and gents? Thanks so much for hanging out with us. We appreciate it. Card shop, no, we're not doing the drinking game tonight. So, ladies and gents, we'll be set all night long. 
Um, <clears throat> Teresa asks for the final polls, the final 12. So we'll grab those for you, Teresa. You have Amazing Spider-Man 800. Guardians of the Galaxy number six. Death of Spider-Man issue 116. Excuse me, 160. Web of Venom Funeral Pyre. The Forever is number one. The Fried, Fried Pie variant. Wonder Girl number one. Star Wars Prelude. Venom 30. Batman number 763. Slab. And you've got Spider Woman number one and the number one variant Spider Verse number one. So, Teresa, congratulations. This uh, is Comics and Stories number one, the Poofy Virgin variant limited to 666. Thank you so much for all the polls, everybody, tonight. Um, what I will be doing is um, telling everyone who um, got polls for the month. And at the end of the month, I will do a nice big raffle uh, for everyone who got polls this month. Thank you so much. All right, ladies and gents, buy it now, buy it now. Again, um, I got the Batman. First, punch. I will do. Let me drop down. I'll do 55 ship on Batman, Girls' Night Out, first appearance of Hush, 55 ships. I got the Bagley negative variant, Venom number six. This I will do for 35 ship. This is Venom number six, Bagley negative variant. Teresa says, show the slab closer. Thank you, thank you. All right, so those were the two buy it nows. Um, we are going to do some uh, TMNT. I'm going to start this off at 25, 25, and we can build. Hey, Golden, there you are. Brother, I emailed you. Um, I need to confirm your address. If you can, hit me up. I have your package. It's been in my car. Um, been waiting on you, my friend. Yes, you are still waiting on polls. So I have your package all packed up. Check your email, good brother. So, TMNT 116, the retailer incentive. This is the last Ronin, number 84. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> this is the last Ronin, number one, the third print. Last Ronin number two, first print. And last Ronin number three, the one in ten. We're going to start this off at 25 bucks. 25 bucks for the four covers. 25? Yes. Hey, Golden. Yeah, I couldn't find you. So I went through your YouTube page and I tried to send you an email via YouTube. Uh, it may not be your correct uh address i'm not sure um but i'm glad you're here gorilla todd was off last week so i wasn't able to connect with you so it's just been sitting my friend all right so lisa's in at 25 and that's your one in 10 selling well all right ladies and gents next books that can come in I have a set of Jiang. This is the trade and the virgin. 
make the picture right here. If you can see. Makes a nice cover right there. These both can come in if we got it to 75. 75, those two can come in. If we got it to 120, the number two New York Comic Con exclusive variant can come in at 120. And then 175, the number one, one in 10 can come in. 175. And the last comic that can come in is your last Ronin spec, the retailer incentive on 104 for high grade. If we got it to 250, all of that can come in. 250. So these are your next books to come in at 75. All the way up to 250 if anyone's interested. That's your Freddie Williams. One in ten on number three. Retail incentive. One sixteen. Third print on number one. And first print on number two. Nice work, card shop. Hey, man, you're going to get there, my brother. Have you read uh, Nice House on the Lake yet? That's the next one I'm jumping into. I'm going to jump into Nice House on the Lake. Followed by Basilis. I'm going in. I'm going in with both of those. I thought Nice House on the Lake was amazing. Oh, good, good to hear. Yeah, yeah, I really like the first issue. I think he's got another big hit on his hands. Tenny, and man, he he knows, he knows what he's doing, and it's something DC needs. Nice card shop. <laughs> Jay said those aren't Thundercats. All right, Teresa wants the upgrade to the John G. Yangs. So you get the nice connected cover. Nice work. Beautiful connecting cover. So those are in again. I got the conjuring too, Dave. I got that. These two and that would all come in next level. We got to two fifty, it would clear it. Um buy it now on the eve number one. That is uh 60 shipped. Buy it now on the Nottingham number one. That is 75. This is your uh, Line Breakers exclusive. Line Breakers exclusive. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Teresa, you got a great lot here. Let me know um, if you want anything else. And again, uh, you got a bunch tonight, so there's no extra shipping. All of your shipping is uh, covered. Um, and you have the option to upgrade if there's anything else you want. Buy it now on a Nottingham. Okay. You got the Nottingham, my good sir. Comes with the collectible challenge coin right there. And if you want, if you want that, this will come in um, uh, for 25 flat. So that would be 
100 if you want them together, but right here, 75. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. Another great round. Um, we got some more goodies coming up, and we're just rocking and rolling, like Gorilla Todd said. We keep it live on a Saturday night, so smash that like button, ladies and yeah. gents. We have free giveaways. Like I told you guys, it's summertime. I'm not as, I don't have as rigid a schedule. <laughs> What's up, our chemist? Good All right, to see you, my friend. You got that, Shallow. I will put this in your box. We'll be all straight, my friend. Thank you so much. Okay, cool. We'll move right over to French Quarter. All right, hello again, everyone. Uh, I'm gonna need a moment on this one because this is a very interesting book that no has problem. a lot to explain. Can you hear me okay again? Yeah, we're hearing you good. Okay, okay. take your time, point? man. No, no okay. rush. <laughs> okay. All right, what I've got here is Lois Lane, number 70. It I want it. First Silver Age appearance of Catwoman. That's what I want it. <laughs> you got to hear a little bit about it first. All right, this is a CGC 5.5 qualified, and here's why. Um, half of page 12 is missing, but does not affect story. Then... It's got the very rare double cover. The first cover is a 3.5. The interior cover is 5.5. So it's got a double cover. Yeah, there's a lot going on with this. Somebody had a clip a half a page out of a double cover. Yeah, I don't know why that happened or who did it, but. I'm sure um, they ordered those x ray specs. <laughs> probably. What kind of a swing is that on that book? Oh it is goodness. the first Silver, Silver Age appearance of Catwoman, though. Um, this does have a guest appearance of Penguin and Batman and Robin as well. I had it marked at four seventy five ship. I scrolled there a discount of $50. I'm going to do four twenty five ships on this very unusual Silver Age key. So four twenty five ships. The double cover of Lois Lane, first Silver Age appearance of Catwoman. For mm. the auction lot, this is going to start, this is going to be a builder lot. And if you didn't notice, Card Shop Reality, on the cover, she turned Batman into a cat. She had magic powers back then. See? That's Superman, Superman, I meant. Superman. Yeah. Super Pussy Cat, formerly Superman. If you were confused. Oh. All right. So, uh, starting line on this auction is going to be $20. Uh, it's going to be the Carnage Centric lot, I'll say. So, we're going to start with Absolute Carnage, number one. This is the spectacular, terrifying, arc bearing variant. Very, very nice cover. I've also got the downtown of Christopher action figure kind of variant. Both, what happened to his tummy? Both like nine eight. Oh my god, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like missing. Yeah, we can. And then I'm going in Detective Spider Man number 203. Kind of yeah, it's really hard to hear you, for, at least from my point of view. Yeah, something happened where we couldn't hear you again. Oh, I don't know. What is up with this? All right. They're sounding clearing up. You go. So, Spectacular Spider Man 203, the Carnage Face cover, the Art Germ, Absolute Carnage number one, and the John Tyler Christopher Carnage action figure. <laughs> That's funny, man. Yeah. Spidey. Well, how much did you say you wanted to start this at? It's going to start at $20 for these three, and then we're going to build from there. $20 for those three. Okay, there's a $20 starting line. No, I thought he would. it would kind of fix itself really quickly, but, yeah, it wasn't just you. It's okay. We got it. We got at least. We got it. I'm not sure what is happening here, but maybe it's the computer finally going. What kind of microphone do you use? Uh, it's just my MacBook. That's probably why. They don't have a, a lot of times the computers don't have the best. Yeah. You may want to grab a, get a mic. 
All right, shallow's in for 20, so. You got shallow in for 20, yes you do. So these are all in. Coming in next, also in a nine, eight year mint, is Spider Girl number one. This will come in at $40. That is one twisted torso. It's one great book too. We all know that Mayday Parker is almost certainly headed to the Spider-Verse at some point. Mark goes at 25. This comes in at 45, or 40, I said, 40. So 15 more dollars gets this one in. This is the Ed McGinnis uh, variant for number one, by the way. This is not the A cover. This is a Ed McGinnis variant. All right, Shallow is in at 40. All right, so now we're going to bring in the next two are the big boys. Uh, if we get to 80, Spider Girl number 12, the Carnage cover. Again, this is in a near mint, near mint plus condition, spotless. Look this one up right now, real quick. Amazing Spider Girl 12. Look at what their FMB on this one is. They'll collect out of 120 right now, I believe. But it's that tribute cover to ASM 361. Pairs very nicely. If you've got an ASM 361, <laughs> like they say that, pairs nicely. Like it's a steak and a wine. So this would come in at 80, which is a steal. And then I've got one more really interesting one to come in at the mm. end after that. So that book comes in at okay. Shallows in at eighty. So now this is in. in at eighty. Okay, so that's it. Nice. All right. So the final book of the lot then. This one here. Um, let's see. So we're at eighty. At one thirty, this one comes in. The Maximum Carnage Scream, number one. This is the homage to the Edward Edward Monk, the screen. German Expressionism. I'm sure I mispronounced it. It's probably Munch. Uh, but it is a another absolutely flawless cover. Uh, this was done by... Uh, who was it? <sighs> I had this in my notes earlier. Uh, I don't know where I wrote it down. Um, Codex is his last name. He had an unusual name. Um, anybody know the artist Codex? I'm not sure. So that comes in at how much? This comes in at one thirty to complete the lot. Okay. So another fifty dollars. What at one thirty? That screen is on fire too. Yeah, I haven't heard of that artist before though. So that is. I got it in one of my here. All red codex. I did write it down. All red codex. This was a one in twenty five. So it's a. So Mike Allred did the cover. That's the guy who did Madman. Oh, Codex man. is probably a character appearance in there or something. Because that says Codex, Codex variant. Mike Allred and Codex are two different things. Oh, okay. Hmm. But what is? Is there a signature on the bottom of the cover? Um. Yeah, that's Mike Allred. Allred. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. That was. Yeah. yeah. So Mike Allred, one in twenty-five variant. Ugh. He created Madman. You can see him in the beginning of the movie chasing Amy at the convention scene. Oh, okay. 
He's the dude with long hair talking. They're sitting at one of the tables. He absolutely killed it on this one. This is just such a great homage to that famous painting. There you go. Art Chemist has got it looked up for us. Interior art by Gerardo Sandoval, covered by Mike Lowry. Thanks, Art Chemist. Appreciate, appreciate it. I love when you guys in the chat can type faster than we can when we're holding books. And that was okay. <laughs> okay, so we got Shallow with the high bit of 80. If you want the add on, it's 150. Marco, you were in the 25. So all this Marco, is our 10 for 80. You still have the option to bid or fold. All that's in for 80. This comes in. At one thirty. It's up to you guys now. Let us know. So Marco folds. So pretty much it's up to Shallow now. So, right. so Shallow, you can let me know uh, on IG then if you want. So I'm going to drop the end line. Shallow. Shallow, and you can just let me know if you want to add in that last book or not. Um, and again, if anybody wants to see. Buy it now again, the Lois Lane double cover, 5.5 first Silver Age Catwoman, 425 ship tonight. You, you have plenty of time, Shallow, no rush. Sure. Just let them know when you decide. Yep, anytime by the end of tonight, it's fine. All right, thank you all. We'll see you next round. Got HGM coming up. All right, so unfortunately, this is going to be my last round because I'm on the East Coast and I'm yeah, old. So. I understand it's getting late. <laughs> it's the middle of the night. What can I do? Uh, <clears throat> we're going to do a simple Tales to Astonish lot, um, which I pretty much all reprints as Submariner Tales, but still in good shape. Starting bid of $10. We have issues 9 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I think I saw that cover earlier. Yep. <laughs> and 14. These are all Tales to Astonish, Submariner. This is, you know, they took the ones from the 60s, brought them back in the late 70s, early 80s. Reprints because they didn't have you know no internet, no cable, so they did it with most of their big titles so other people could get a chance to read them. So, ten dollars. What's up, our chemist? The shallow in it, so again, nine dollars shipping. This lovely little. They also establish some Mariner lots. So okay, we got shallow in a ten. You get a timer going for you. Oh, you know, now I had some. I had some fire books earlier, art chemist. You definitely had some fire books, art chemist. But you know, it's end of the night, man. I'm just kind of. I mean, we, we we had a little episodes with trolls, so trying to but calm we, it down a little bit. We handled it. It wasn't handle it, handle it well. It wasn't too bad. <laughs> so you know, I, I want to be known. I, I cover all the all price all price points when it comes to when it comes to good books that I bring. So people who don't know, they have to break the bank for me. That's the best way to be because you got customers at every level. Absolutely, absolutely. You got people uh, looking for books at all at every level, you know. You know, and bring them books that you normally don't see or don't get, and get a chance to get them. And these are all readers, so yeah. You know, no, no, those are a great way to read books. Stories, you know, and a lot of these, these great not books. spending a lot of so money. Good. Exactly. Yeah. Good stories. You get the original stories. And uh, 
you know, now they were written, written in the 60s, so it may not be PC, but uh, they, they're, 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 they've aged, like you know, yeah, I mean, it's, it's the times, it's, it's, yeah, any, it's, any content, any old content, yeah, you, know. you know, James Bond doesn't behave the same necessarily. Oh, yeah, yeah, he had to change. Morning, Penny. I have to change my ways, Morning, Penny. <laughs> Absolutely. That's good impression. Well, let me tell you, it was good having you back on the on the auction, HGM. Hey, I appreciate you having me on, man. I really do. Last yeah. minute. You know, For sure. Like, I want to you, do you that. Know, so. You've asked me a couple times, and most of the times you, you kind of see the numbers I run at, and it's it just it is what it is. Yeah. But I'm glad. It, I'm glad. Uh, you know. Glad it worked out. Glad it worked out. Yep, you have been a delight tonight, HGM. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you so much, Shelby. You've been well. well. Now, Mr. Art Chemist, if you're looking for the original Silver Surfer one, I I got an LCS that has it, but it's, it's about twelve hundred bucks. Yeah. He knows I have an extra one. That's why he's saying that. Oh, yeah. that's right. okay. It's it's. All right, so. <laughs> I got Shall a friend at 10, so it's going to be 19, sir. Yeah. <clears throat> Pushing the <door. laughs> Hey, you know. Nine. So now, now, the guy the ACS had also ASM 300, swore as a 9.6. It was absolutely beautiful. They also had two GI Joe number ones, also extremely high grade. But I told him, I said, you know, I, I'm not going to beg. I won't beg. All right, so, <clears throat> all right, Mr. Comics, Shallow Comics, going to be 19 total. Just uh, got my PayPal information. Just hit me up on IG with your with your um, address and shipping information. And I'll get these out to you. Too sweet. So, Todd, I'll just do my outros now. Uh, final shouts. Sounds good, my friend. Hey, again, I appreciate you for letting me on. Appreciate no the channel. For, it, was, it was a good night for, for all. Um, like I said, I'll try to have these books out by the beginning of the week, related to Tuesday. So if you want tracking, let me know, and I'll get tracking to you. Uh, appreciate the chat. Appreciate everybody. Have a good night. Good rest of the auction. You know, I'm going. I'm going to while I'm you know getting stuff done. I'll still be in the chat, watching and lurking uh, while you guys finish out. Again, good rest of the auction, people. And we'll talk to you soon. Take care. All right. Yeah. All right. Move over to Shelby. How's that pop or whatever you're drinking? It's tea. I'm in the cell, tea. man. It's sweet tea. All right. Oh, you don't drink no pop. You never drink a soda? I don't. I don't. I rarely do. I might drink a Mr. Pib every now and then when I order when I order a pizza because uh, Domino's uh, has Mr. Pib. Isn't it funny how you like to drink certain things with certain foods? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, soda goes well with pizza. Yeah, I like soda with pizza too. I like soda with pizza and Chinese food. Hmm. Yeah, I can. You can't drink tea with Chinese food. It yeah, like good tea. You can drink hot tea. Well, unless unless you get that uh, Chinese tea they'll make, which is like with like a it's orange and it's like got a whole bunch of milk in it. So, yeah, but that's just weird. It's a little weird. Milk, because I don't. I'm not a big milk and meat guy. Like, oh, I love. I I, I try to not drink as much milk as I do, but you know, because it's not really good for you. But anyway, all right, last lot of the night. Um, Y'all have been great, wonderful. appreciate everybody. Appreciate all the people that have. I got, I got like four night. lots left. Everybody's going soft on me. No, it's late. You know me, I'm still here. It's 1 a.m. here, man. Like one of you guys goes and then everybody drops. I'm here until the sunrise. So, okay, Shelby, go. All right, it's five hours, man. All right, so uh, appreciate everything. So you know, always try, 
I always try to show you all a little bit of generosity back for everything. So the new Loki starting this week. I can't wait. Looks like it's going to be great. I love me some Owen Wilson. So I'm going to start this at $1. This is Vote Loki number one fried pie variant. Starting at $1. This is a really nice copy. There's a couple of non-color breaking uh, dents in the side. I uh, can't really even get them, but there's no color breaking ticks or anything. It's it's a high grade copy. Um, you know, a little pressage will fix all that stuff up really nice. But yeah, starting out one dollar, man. Vote Loki. All right, you know that's gonna be part wow. of the storyline, and this is where they got it from. So. Fried Pie Variant, Vote Loki, number one. So, got that Loki for president in here. Uh, it is DJ Jazzy something is his IG. DJ Greggy Greg. I will drop it for you. This is a Stephanie Hans cover too, by the way. Oh. Thank you for that knowledge. I did not know that. So used to seeing her drawing woman, Wonder Woman. <laughs> And, and every female that then she draws looks like Wonder Woman, so. So, Shallow, I just dropped it for you, buddy. So don't miss out. This has, like I said, the President Loki storyline that they're pulling. Um, for the uh, show that's coming up, Fried yeah, Pie Variant. Six. The Fried Pie Variant. Vote Loki. Uh, Stephanie Hans cover, which is also an added bonus there. Yeah, I guess I kind of see it. I don't know. Like I said, so you see her just do women. Yeah, I only know it because I, I've got that one in a Loki lot I was putting together. <laughs> oh yeah, it's been sitting over here uh, by my feet for a um, couple of uh, months now, just waiting to put it out. Um, you know, right before the Loki uh, thing hit. Um, I think it's a little bit hotter at one time. I know I was I. Uh, had a stack of them around Christmas time and I was selling them for 20 a piece. Yep. Um, I think they dropped a little bit in price. I know that Sands had a couple of them. I think he was selling them 15 Correct. or something like that. Correct. So, but it's dropped a little bit. Kind of weird. It dropped like, you know, you expect to kind of bounce back up a little bit with, uh, the show about to start. Yeah, it'll go up. After. I think it's going to go up uh, next. This time next week, it'll be a twenty-five dollar book. Yeah, or more, especially uh, that one with him on the cover with the with the horns. Um, I'm saving time. that one. Yeah, I, I mm -hmm. have that one. I got the complete run. Yeah, I mean, I've been holding back on that one, so I figured I'd go ahead and do a little teaser with this one, and uh, I'll pull those bad boys out after the show drops so because on that cover like what you see in the previews looks just like him in the comic books with the green suit the button exactly the big button the horns and stuff i mean it mm -hmm. looks just like the comic book so Josh exactly. and it's yes. going to it, it's just going to skyrocket one through four or five it's going to skyrocket yeah so Okay. Yeah, I bought that run when it first came out, so I'm going to pull them out of the warehouse. 
this Walk coming week and make a trip to the warehouse. So y'all might be seeing a video from the warehouse. I, I, I didn't have a lot come in this week. So, you know, I'd usually do my unboxing videos, but I'm cutting back on buying some. And, um, you know, of course, we have more You Know Mondays on Mondays, 8 p.m. They'll be on my Chan Chan this coming Monday. We're going to do a couple of different topics, um, some uh, viewer requested topics. Uh, the first one is going to be talking about pizzazz inserts. What the hell are pizzazz inserts? People have seen these in comic books, and uh, I'm going to drop all the knowledge about that. And then um, probably the second most requested thing I've gotten is kind of the state <laughs> of state of the comic industry. You know, are we headed for a bust? Is it, um, you know, going to stabilize? And, you know, I think everybody agrees that um, comic prices are pretty wackadoodle right now. Uh, there could be a couple of reasons for that. But, yeah, we're going to talk a little bit. And I'm going to share some of my um, insight of when, you know, I owned a store during the last comic bust. So, you know, I do have a little bit of insight uh, into that time period. So, yeah, so check me out Monday, Ooh. Jeff and I, uh, 8 p.m. on my channel, Central Standard Time. Adjust your clocks accordingly. All right, that's the first thing Papa's got for me tonight. So, Papa Willie, that'd be, what was it, $10 and a toothbrush. As long as it's not a used toothbrush or... Um, one of those they gave you at the hospital while you were there last week. So, you know, they do those cheapy toothbrushes and stuff. Like, you know, you use it once, all the bristles are gone and shit. Kind of like the ones they give you in prison. So I hear. Got to say, you got a story to tell us? Uh, I am not sharing that, you know. That's not appropriate for, uh, a PG-13 rating. That's right. Says the person that lives in, you know. Lives in what? I live in a perfectly nice 55 and over retirement neighborhood. In the city man. known for. No, in the suburb of Summerlin. You should look it up, man. It's a, I have. I've been there. I've been, I've been yeah, to, uh... Thanks, Shelby. Have a good night. Well, I'm gonna hang around, you know. I, you know, I know you're gonna hang around there. You know, I mean, surely y'all aren't going too many more rounds, are you? Said I had four more rounds set, but that's okay. What? Four more rounds? Are you crazy? Oh my god! And I might leave. <laughs> so what's up, everybody? Yeah. Okay, well. I got the wheel down. Hang out, heckle, and slow down progress. Well, we'll see how far that gets you. Mute. So I got the super chat books. I got the Vampirella 1992 Virgin and Trade set. We got that in the lot. We got a couple of issues of Loki, Agent of Asgard. We got uh, Cliffhanger Zero sketchbook. With artwork by J. Scott Campbell, Joe Medaria, and Roberto Ramos. I beat you to the punch, Spidey. I beat you to the punch. Hollywood, yeah. Hollywood Variety is reporting rumors that the Amazon Prime is looking to pick up option of the Tom Shelby Sinka. Oh, that would be that would be hilarious. And then we got the Spider-Man Power Pack. It would be like a reimagining of the of the you know odd couple, and then we got the Teen Titans drug abuse issue, and then back to the vampies. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me find a couple more books to add in. Yeah. 
Who you want to do our theme song? Oh, Bare Naked Ladies already done one for Big Bang Theory, so. Um, ooh, I would like ABBA to come out of retirement and do our theme yeah, song. No. Not happening. Dancing Queen. Uh, I think it should be a soft love song theme. What, what, I muted you. What happened? Holy crap. Yeah, Iron Maiden. Yeah, run for the hills. That's what he's going to need to do. I'm going to throw in uh, Savage Sword of Conan, number one. And it's run to the hills. What, what, stop unmuting yourself. Dude, don't make me hit the remove button. I'm going to add in Savage Sword of Conan, number one, to the Super Chat giveaway. And uh, uh, Star Wars 11, Rebels vs. Galactic Empire from Dark Horse Comics. So two more books. So I got it up to nine books. Uh, I guess we're doing one more round or two more rounds. If you want to get any more Super Chats in to get in for the books, go for it. Um, this is the Hulk lot I was trying to find before. So I got, this is from a run, uh, a writer named Bruce Jones and the arts by John Romita Jr. And the covers are by Carrie Andrews. So this is issue 36. And obviously, this is a redo of Hulk 36. Uh, this is 34 of uh, King Size Special 1. Uh, no, not offhand. I just have a couple of books left. So I got these Incredible Hulks. Uh, this is 34. 35. I remember when this run came out. Really great covers. 36. 37. And then 38. So we got those five issues, and then I got Hulk the End by Peter David and Dale Keown. Dale Keown's one of my favorite Hulk artists of all time. He's been doing some covers and stuff lately, but so I got six books. Um, I'll do this for a buy it now of $15 if anybody's interested. I think that's a pretty good bunch of books for 15 bucks. And that's a beautiful cover all by itself. But got those Hulk books available. I got five X Men books that I'll knock out for five bucks if anybody wants. I got 310, 314. 320, 368, and 374. Tim. Yeah, definitely a Norman Rockwell homage. Yeah, Tim Singh's Tim taking Singh's that. Whole you part. got the Hulk for 15. Yeah. You got these X Men available for five bucks if anybody wants these five X Men issues. Five dollars. You want you need a, you got some room in your box. Five dollars on those X Men books. So write down Tim for those Hulk. I got it. I know, I know how to do this. <sighs> so I got you on those. Tim Singh stuff. Oh, the tower wants to fall. Okay, I got... Let's see, this is one, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight issues of Captain America. These are Brubaker and uh, Jackson Geis and <laughs> and uh, and um, Steve Epting. So we got number thirty-five. 36, 
37. Got Bucky down there. 39. Forty, Captain America, the new cap versus the old cap. We got forty-one. That's an awesome Steve Epstein cover. Forty-two, Secret Invasion cover. Cap versus the Red Skull, and then I got forty-six, the seventy years Marvel Comics. Anniversary issue, Namor vs. Cap by Steve Epstein cover. Beautiful stuff. I got those eight issues. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Knock those out for 15 bucks if somebody's interested. We got some room in a box. We want to fill it. Less than two dollars a book. Card shop reality. You want the the caps? You got it. Okay. So. Nobody wants the X-Men. That's okay. So then I got like a kind of mixed Marvel lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars. Eight books. I'll just start it at eight dollars. I got one more buy it now. I got this one. I was only able to get one of these. It's a Vampirella. That's actually a model cover, but it's a virgin cover. I thought this one was pretty slick. If somebody wants this one, I'll do I'll let this one go for 15 bucks. If somebody wants the uh, Virgin Vampirella. Done. Put it in my box. <laughs> for real? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll take it. Uh Shell wants it, but you said it first. Well, I don't want you know, I won't set it in the chat. I, I'll let y'all have it then. If nobody... <laughs> Sorry. I, if I had another copy, I'd hook you up. I only got the one. Yeah, that's fine. Let Shallow have it. I don't want to okay. step in the chat. I appreciate that. So Shallow Comics, you got that. You got it, Chalo. He deferred to you. So unless you you say now you don't want it, I'll give it to him. But, you know, I always try to let the the bins go to the chat first. That's generally generally how I roll there. But, Absolutely. Uh, I do, too. Yeah. What's up, Shorty? Okay. So, uh. Yeah, what was I going to say? Uh, the auction, right? Yeah. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to start this at eight bucks. That won't work. Eight bucks. I'll show you what what's in this. We got Avengers 228. The Trial of Yellow Jacket. We got 229. The Evil of Egghead. 230. Yellow Jacket No More. 231. We got a She Hulk appearance. Then we got 263. When they find the cocoon that reveals Jean Grey and this uh, crosses over into X Factor number one. And then I got a Daredevil 249. Cool, a cool Wolverine appearance. I got a Daredevil 16, the Marvel's X variant in here. So that's a cool, 
cool variant cover. And then I got a Solo Avengers number three, Hawkeye and Moon Knight. So, hey, it's Hawkeye and Moon Knight. I've been hearing a lot about those guys lately. So $8 starting bid. Might be a, an $8 buy it now. I don't know. If you bid and nobody else bids, then it's a $8 buy it now. <laughs> Mad Spidey jumps on it for 10 Always coming out with a strong bid. Do you have a box with me, Art Chemist? <laughs> and I guess this is going to be the last round because, uh, yeah, I guess uh, we're down to three. Art Chemist is in at 11. It's the right combination of Daredevil, Wolverine, The Avengers, Moon Knight, and Hawkeye, right? And Batrock. They killed him, didn't they, in the show? Well, I don't know. I think there's some Thors. You're like, oh, I'll start a box. There, it's nothing major. Art Chemist, so I'll hit you up. Art is in at 14. I got an auction. Look at that. If my memory is right, it was a couple of like Thor books, nothing, no keys or anything. It was just, you know, it was like a $10 lot or something like that. Maybe $15, I don't know. Getting lazy here with me. So, okay, so, do I have a timer going? Yeah, six seconds. Looks like Matt Spidey's going to take it down for 15 That's a timer. We're down to one bidder, so we'll drop the end line. And Matt Spidey's taking it down for 15. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Uh, I think you have one or two books you you claimed, Shorty. That I just you know I you never paid me on, but it's not like it's a big deal. So I mean, if that's what you're asking, yeah. But it's not like you know, it's like one or two books. It's nothing I would have ever like bothered you about. <laughs> so don't sweat it. But if uh, you want me to let you know, I'll let you know what I got and where we're at. I'm not even sure. You may have paid me. You may not. I don't know. I'm not too, uh, I don't follow that as much as I should, <laughs> but I will check. I will check this, uh, basically this coming week, I am com I have completely free, no, uh, no school, no camp, no commitments, so, you know, this week I'm going to be spending as much time as I need to looking at everything that's that's been claimed and, and anything that's paid for is going to get shipped. Anything that hasn't been paid for, I'm going to reach out to people and say, hey, I got these books. Do you still want them? I don't see a payment. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know. And, uh, you know, either I'll resell the books or, I'll, or, or people will want them and pay for them. And either way, I'm not, you know, I don't get too uh, up in arms. So, hmm. 
Does anybody want these X Men books for three dollars? Five X Men books, three dollars. Uh, it will, it will, Matt Spidey. Okay, how about this? Custodian Ken, you want them for three? You got it. Awesome. Boom. Custodian Ken beat you to the punch, Matt Spidey. Okay. Uh, tonight was a good night. We'll do the wheel. Uh, I'll, I'll, let me let uh, these other guys go, and then we'll come back to me and do the wheel. If anybody wants to do a super chat between now and then, we'll get you answered. What is up, ladies and gents? Appreciate you hanging out. We still got 40 in the chat. Please smash that like button. Let's get us up to 100 tonight. Let's show the internet. Todd's auction is trending, ladies and gents. Let me show some buy it nows for this round. Buy it now. Got a Basilisk, one in 50. This will be 65 ship. One in 50, Basilisk number one, 65 ship. I got your nice house on the lake, cover A, uh, cover B, and the one in 25. This will be 60 ship, 60 ship. Again, I showed the Eve earlier. This is 60 ship. That's Eve number one. Eve number one, the Galindo, one in 500, limited to 500. A couple more by now since this is the last round. Showed this earlier. This is something that's killing the children. 16, that's the Crease cover. That's the one in 25, and that's the Shaw cover. Buy it now, $200 for the three covers. $200, buy it now. Jenica, one. So we got the Jenica. We got three covers on the Jenica. Buy it now. 60 shipped, 60 shipped. Last two I showed earlier. High grade on the mix number three. I would say slab worthy, slab worthy, 1100 by an L, 2375 on the nine, ASM or you can do them both right now for 32, 3200 for both of these. All right, that's all my buy it nows for the night, ladies and gents. We're going to do a nice little mixed lot like Gorilla Todd just did. It's going to be some. Black Panther, some Venom, and some Spidey. And we're going to start this off at $55. $55. Short box. Shout out to my homie Short Box. Padawan in the house. She be on the uh, Saturday morning auctions, the cartoon auctions. Uh, so awesome to see her. Good customer, good IG. Funny IG channel, ladies and gents. All right. We got Black Panther number one. This is the Mike Dodato variant with Venom on the cover. We got Black Panther number three. This is your Shuri second appearance. Second appearance of Shuri right here. We got Venom number six. This is the um, Bagley variant right here. Venom number six, Bagley negative variant. We got that classic ASM silver, ASM silver number one. And lastly, we got Ultimate Spider-Man. This is number one. This is the Wizard Ace Edition. $55 starting bid for some Venom, some Black Panther, and Spidey goodness. Venom, Black Panther, and Spidey goodness, ladies and gents.
Also, if you haven't, please check out my IG. It's Sans Group underscore collectibles. I got a lot of great um, buy now claims on there. Um, I will have a bunch of something that's killing the children covers that are coming in. So check those out and let me know if you need anything. Also, I'm approaching 250 subs. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. Um, once I hit 250, I'll be doing a nice raffle for the 250. Nice raffle for the 250 subs. So I greatly appreciate you guys. Black Panther, that's your second series. Your Jeff, uh, your Mark Bagley, negative variants. Your Silver Spidey. And your Ultimate Spider Man number one, the Wizard Edition. 55 starting bid. If we got it to 75, I'd throw in an Ultimate Spider Man number two from 2000. That would come in at 75, ladies and gents. That would come in at 75, and if we got it to 90, we're on a Hawk 345. 90 would get a Hawk 345. All right, ladies and gents, in line, coming in hot. Like last minute now, if you want some goodies. If not, you know how to hit me up on IG if you saw any buy it nows that you wanted. Always willing to negotiate. Talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much, Gorilla Todd. You're welcome, my friend. Long night. <laughs> it's kind of hit me right now. Hey, that's why, I took, that's why I took a nap before the show. Yeah, I took a nap too. Honestly, I was I was fairly comatose in my chair for about an hour before we started. <laughs> I had to force myself to to get going. But uh, let's let uh, French Quarter get his last turn in and then i'll come back and do the wheel all right hello again everyone for the last round uh can do um you know it matt spidey in and out is calling i will be there shortly i'm jealous I used to have those in california when i lived there I used to have them in texas when i lived there but they haven't made it to new orleans yet <laughs> all right so uh buy it now uh we're going to put a little comedy at the end of the night here. It's been an entertaining night. Uh, $35 shipped on these two books. You got your Spinal Tap comic with Nigel Tufnell, David St. Hubbins, and Derek yeah. Small. Turn it up to 11. You got your dwarves, you got your Stonehenge, and you got three knobs that all go to 11. <laughs> that and a beautiful. Near mint copy of Rick and Morty presents Pickle Rick. This is uh, the variant cover B. I'll do both of those. Thirty-five bucks shipped. If anyone wants to have a good laugh at the end of their night. And how many have we got in the chat right now? We've, we've still got thirty-six. 30, yeah, thirty-six. I see thirty-four. Somewhere in the mid thirties. All right, this is a little risky then, but between rounds, I just ran out and pulled out my. My box marked X Men keys. Um, I'm going to start this five book. Jedi, I know you're in China. You ever make it to Las Vegas? You look me up, and we'll go out, and I will treat you to some in and out. You too, Ken. 
You make it out to Vegas. I got oh, you on some in and out. That, that's a date. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, it's going to be a five book lot of some nice X Men keys and semi keys. I'm going to start it uh, at eighty dollars. Ten line of eighty. Got X Men number ninety: The Death of Professor X. We've got X Men 116. Of course, uh, man, Spidey. That goes without saying. <laughs> got X Men 183, the barroom brawl between Colossus and Juggernaut. Card shop, if you can, if you can carve out some time, I will treat you to some In and Out burgers. X Men 184, the first appearance of Forge. And the big one that's skyrocketing everywhere, X-Men 282, first appearance of Bishop. This is an excellent, excellent copy. And I usually always go by the, the tournament at least at once or twice with my buddy. And 90. Let's see, it looks like Matt Spidey's in for a hundred. All right. Roman Curtis is in at 105. Oh, Roman woke up. <laughs> I think he I think he took a little nap on me between rounds. I was waiting for him to decide on his Falcon choice. Oh, man, Golden Car, I could have given you your books. <laughs> it's okay. But I get them chipped out this week either way. This one is a new stand. It does have, uh, right there, there's a little stain you can see in the green. Um, right there. None of these have been pressed and cleaned. Eighty-three. That's Spidey at one twenty-five. One eighty-four. Very nice and clean as well. And the Bishop. We're at 150 now. And Roman, of course, you've already, uh, well, you'll have combined shipping with your first lot. Anything you can add in to entice? Um, yeah, actually, if you could bear with me one second, I've got to run out to the other room, but I do have something. Go for it. Go for it. Yeah. Give me 30 seconds.
Let's see what he comes up with an upgrade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this gives us a little glimpse. What does he got there? Silver Surfer, FF48, Cap 100, X-Men 4. What Wolverine is that? Limited Series number one? Interesting. It was all a ploy. Uh, those little things? Oh, nobody wants those books. <laughs> All right, so we're at where again right now? We're at, we're at 150 with Matt's 150. Okay. So all these are at 150. Um, at 165, I'll add in 283, which follows Bishop's, this is his first full appearance. After his first appearance. So that comes in at 165. Also a very nice clean copy. And if we get to 200, I will bring in 56. Psylocke and Mandarin cover. So 200 would bring it all in. Roman Curtis is going to fold. So it's Mad Spidey's uh, locked in his decision. You're at 150 right now. Go to the end line and Mad Spidey, you can let him know if you want to upgrade. You want any of those upgrades? 165 to add this. 200 to add both. Just let me know in the uh, well, in uh, an IG note, FQ Comics on IG, and uh, we'll settle up uh, payment details and your address there as well so thank you very much okay he's in australia so what you're going to do is you're, he's going to pay you for shipping him domestically and you're going to ship him to me and then i oh, ship him to him okay gotcha that's no problem cool all right so your total be uh 159 if you're just sticking with those then that's buddy um my if you, need, if you need my address just hit me on on uh, ig okay Send it over if I haven't already. Cool. Okay, he's going to stick to 150. Uh, and then I guess we'll do the wheel and uh, our moves. I don't know. I mean, I probably have more books. But eh, it's okay. Let's do the wheel. So you're welcome, Matt Spidey. Awesome books. Great pickups. Um, Okay, I don't think I, I didn't see any other super chats, so I'm going to share my screen and uh, show the wheel, and we'll see who's going to get the lots, the books. So let's see here, share screen. Wheel of names. Okay. Let's close that. We don't need. Close that. Thank you. Okay. So we have, it looks like 38 entries in the, uh, on the wheel. So let's see. We got four people on the panel. So I'm going to shuffle it four times, but we got, I'm going to go through. The names, we've got Teresa Newell on 10 times. Papa Wheelie's on five times. Tim Singh's stuff is on five times. Shallow Comics is on three times. Joshua Rodriguez is five times. Card Shop Reality is five times. And Nightmare Bites is five times. Okay. So that is the... 
He's not even on the wheel this time. So somebody else is going to win. Right? <laughs> so I'm going to shuffle four times. That's how many panel members we have right now. One. Card Shop's on top. Two. Josh is on top. Three. Teresa's is on top. Four. Papa Wheelie's on top. And I'm going to spin. And the winner of the books is... Hey, Teresa Newell, congratulations. You win the books, the Super Chat giveaway. So these will get put in your box. Um, it gets you, if, if it bumps you up in shipping, I'll take care of it. I'm going to remove all instances of Teresa. Okay, so now I'm going to shuffle once. We got 28 entries, 10 entries of Teresa was removed. And I will shuffle. This will be for ten dollar, ten gorilla bucks. This next winner wins ten gorilla bucks. Who will it be? To be used on an auction. Hey, card shop reality. Congratulations. Hey, Todd, could you spin the wheel one more time? I have a um, <clears throat> couple books I'll uh, do as a giveaway. Okay, do you want me to remove uh, Card Shop Reality since I removed uh, Teresa? Uh, your choice. Yeah, let's give other people a chance to win, right? I think that's the right thing. Okay, let me just write down Card Shop Reality. All right. Looks like you're giving away what um, fantasy masterpieces and Let me can't stop tell who the other person back. is. Make you big so they can see. There you go. You're gonna sure. give uh, both away in one shot, or you want to give one shot? One I shot. So one Dang, that is yeah, cool. This is, this is picking up some steam with the Iron Man AI rumors. So this is the variant cover of that. Mm -hmm. That's picking up a lot of steam. And that's just a classic cover. Iconic cover. Yep. So. Four, four, beautiful. Okay, let me share again. And there's one more extra giveaway. We're going to spin it. Hey, welcome to the to the auction, Nightmare Bites. You won some books. Nightmare Bites, my brother. You got these too. Thank you so much. I will add it to your uh, other uh, polls. Pretty cool books. And um, guys in the chat, you guys have always been pretty cool. And A plus in my, uh, because we're on Gorilla Todd show, we got to talk about teaching grades. So A plus <laughs> to this chat. A plus to this panel. I appreciate you guys so much. Gorilla Todd as a host, A plus plus. You guys rock. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. You're welcome. You're welcome, Sands. You know, I said it before. I'll say it again. Thank you to everybody in the chat. Appreciate every one of you who come and hang out, whether you're bidding, buy, buying now, bidding, bidding, hanging out, lurking, cracking jokes, just being cool. Uh, appreciate every one of you. I appreciate everybody who comes and, and joins the panel and sells books because it makes, you know, it's what makes it all come together, the the community between all of us. So thank you to everyone. Um, by all means, uh, yeah, you broke you broke Kevin's streak. <laughs> <laughs> so when I send you your totals, you'll get a you'll get a ten dollar discount. Good stuff. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, uh, that's fantastic. Does anybody have anything they want to plug or announce at this point about their channels or anything they're doing? Um, I'll just say thanks to everyone that, uh, that joined us tonight. We appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, it's great being on this wonderful panel. And uh, Todd, thanks for having me as the host. You're, you're always awesome. And uh, it was no problem. a lot of fun. 
Uh, next week, I don't know where I'm going to be selling yet. Um, I'm hoping that I'll, I'll hook up with somebody midweek, and if not, uh, hopefully be back here next week. Cool. Sounds good. I'll let you know about Wednesday. We'll see what happens. Um, Shelby? What let me, up? Let me get that. You realize you're on screen, right? <laughs> What's up, everyone? Um, um, hiding behind the high bid side. I was. I was. It was so, a real high bid. Yeah. yeah. So thank everyone for joining us tonight. You could have been a lot of places. You could have done a lot of things, but you did it with us here, and we appreciate it. Um, don't forget to check me out and Jeff. Uh, hard to come by on More You Know Mondays. Mondays, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. This Monday will be on my channel, and we'll be talking about, yeah, a little bit of the comic market and uh, what we think might be coming up, and um, yeah, should be a good time. Uh, don't know what got planned for the rest of the week, but should be back here on Saturday at least. Uh, really quickly, um, Tuesday night, I'm going to be hopping on with the Spine Sliders. It's going to be hosted by Max Comics. Max Comics is going to host it this time mm. around. So it'll be a fun panel. Um, so if you guys get some time, check them out on Tuesday night. I'm going to jump in um, and look forward to it. Sweet. Say hello to Max for me. Will do, my brother. Will do. So you guys know my drill. Uh, I'll be around. Uh, I don't want to lie, so I'm not going to say anything concrete, but good chance I'm going to be on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, maybe even Friday and Saturday next week. Might be a cra one of those crazy weeks um, and just dive back into it full, full effect. But um, thank you so much, everybody who comes and hangs out, makes the auction a fun time. Uh, what can I say? It's always it's always a good time. I appreciate you guys bidding on my books and, and bidding on buying everybody else's books. And if anybody has any questions or anything, just let me know. You guys can always reach me through email, gorillatodcomics at gmail.com um, or through Instagram at gorillatodcomics. Um, and if I, if I mess up and don't respond right away, just just hound me, please. Hound me. I won't get mad. Uh, I just lose track of stuff sometimes on Instagram. The, I get a lot of messages, and there's no way to filter them. It's frustrating. But uh, anyway, thank you. Have a good night, and we will see you next time until we have get together for more Gorilla Todd goodness.